Hello, my loves. I'm so excited. I'm sorry. I totally forgot that I hit go, start, go live and I'm just typing. Um, but hi, we are we are finishing this. Uh, we're doing this. We're, we're doing the 100 baby challenge. We're getting her in and done. And I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I I'm nervous to finish, but I'm really I don't know. I'm just very excited for us to finish cuz you know it's exciting. <laughs> My Friday's been really good. How's your Friday been, Prim? How is your day going? Oh, thank you. I did get a new bookshelf and I got a chair. Um, the chair has a blanket on it. Like, see it? It has two blankets on it because of the cats and I don't want them to wreck it. But I got a chair. Um, it is a beautiful forest green velvet chair from Ikea. And I got a new bookshelf and I got a new lamp. And I've got to I've gotta put up my lights again. But it is what it is. I love my chair. It's so comfy. I just need an ottoman and I'd be, I'm perfect. Perfect. Just perfect for sitting and being cozy. I'm so ready for chaos too. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Let's check it. Something. I think I see this. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. <clears throat> All right. So let's do this. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. I'm all over the place. I'm so sorry. I do have something really like fun that we're going to be doing with the 100 baby challenge until we're done or until I'm all out. Um, so I just put it in the chat. Every 10 subs, I will be giving away a game code um, for there's seven games in total uh, that I purchased that I can give you guys the codes to on Steam. Um, and I thought it'd be fun to like just do I don't know I just thought it'd be fun and kind of like nice thing to do um so there's like Baba is you Dorf of Antic, Creeks the last campfire Monument Valley one and two which one um it was like Apple game of the year um on the the phone I played it all the time it's so cozy and dark they're all pretty fun like almost like puzzly games most of them are like puzzle games and I thought that'd be really fun so I thought I would just share it with you. And I have my um, Starbucks. I have a new Starbucks drink. Hi, Kiwi. It's not my favorite. <laughs> if you're thinking of getting the new venti strawberry matcha latte, it's a... Uh, it's a eight. It's not the best. It's a eight. <laughs> that would be a fun idea, especially since we're finishing the 100 Baby Challenge. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I thought it'd be fun. And it would be just for subs. So if you are subscribed, you'll be entered anyway. Like, and you're like live in the chat, you'll be entered in to win. So yay. <laughs> but we are on 86 babies out of 100. And Mama Bear is Pergonente. She's in her second trimester in 22 hours. So she's, she's just in her first trimester. So we still have a little while to go. But I'm hoping today... We can have babies and get her pregnant again. Because these kids, it is Friday. Oh, it's Friday. Okay. Okay. Fingers crossed we can age up all three of our teens. Oh, you. You silly little goose. You've got to get outside and get your fitness on. I want to age up all three of our teens today. Last boom, vein boom to celebrate finishing the challenge. I think so. I want it to be... I want this challenge to one be over. Not that I, I I'm not gonna miss it. I just I I want it over. I don't know. I want I want to start something new. I want to do something new or work on the whimsy challenge more. But I'm gonna miss it. <clears throat> but I hope you're all having a beautiful Friday and you're taking care of yourself. And you got something to drink or something to eat. Did you have a nap? You dozed off for 45 minutes before the stream. Oh no, why are you so exhausted today, darling? You silly goose. <laughs> Not me electrocuting my son. Oh my god. 
Is that a little halo? No. Not the... Oh my god. Was that... Li that's literally the first thing I've done. I'm the worst mum. Come inside, wash yourself, take a shower. No, you can stop dreaming big, sir. You'll die if you keep dreaming. You'll literally die, and we don't want that. <gasps> oh, did you have a migraine? I'm so sorry. I hope that you feel better, friend. I hate migraines. Why are they the way they are? Like, why are they so rude? Like, who decided that the migraine could just, like, co come in and hang out, you know? No one invited migraines. So he's got three hours of being struck by lightning and two hours of a sprained ankle. That super sucks. Maybe if you have a sprained ankle, you shouldn't be standing on it. That's just my idea. Hi, Soup. How you doing? Welcome in. I'm going to have him come eat some fettuccine Alfredo. She likes fitness, sure. Ugh. <laughs> oh. It has been a while. It's so nice to see you again. We are on just the... We're on the last leg of the 100 baby challenge. We are on 96 babies out of 100. And we're trying to... We're trying to finish it before... Did she do her homework? She did. Or, I think we were getting... I'm pretty sure this sim we were saying they, them vibes. So they have done their homework. And you're going to add that to your favorite. And you're going to do your homework after you're done eating. Um... But yeah, oh my god, he's such a doofus. We're on the last leg of the 100 baby challenge. We're finishing this. We're finishing it. Today will be hopefully 92 babies. I'm hoping. At least 90. And then, you know. Sunday, we'll stream for like four to five hours with it. Um, hopefully getting to like 96 babies. Because it's like two babies every two hours. So... I'm trying my best to figure out the man. <laughs> We've got 14 babies left. That means seven hours, right? Seven hours of shit. Well, maybe. We'll see, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. I'm so far off. I don't know. Okay, you're hungry. Maybe you should eat. Your communication is level four. That warrants you getting some foods. There you go, my baby. I want to age up these. Send all students alone. When do these little monsters age up? They. Okay, so it's the monster's birthday today. So as soon as we get the pop up saying that it's their birthday, we are aging them up because I want them before Sunday, hopefully. <laughs> we'll hopefully be able to age them up into children off of, the, like, so they're not, you know, infants anymore or toddlers. Um, so we can age them up next week as teenagers like monday and tuesday as a child we'll see hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed it's gonna be hard mm. everyone get to school kel get to school you silly goose you don't need to do anything else but just get to school so you can age up please oh my god okay you study hard you study hard you're a baby, so you don't need to study. But you do need to talk to this bear a little bit more in hopes that you can age up. You're so close. <laughs> oh. Do you have one of those um, migraine things? Like It's like a migraine cap and you put it in the freezer. Nicole, those are supposed to be amazing for migraines. Or just like a cold cap, I guess, would also help. That's super efficient baby care. I, you're always eating popcorn. I love that about you. She appreciates a good popcorn moment. I'm very excited to finish this. It's all I've been thinking about. I haven't played The Sims in days. All I've been thinking about is 100 baby challenge. 100 baby challenge. So close. You don't? Oh, I've heard amazing things about it. Okay. Come on, hug and talk. Hug. You're so close. You're literally at 63, 72. Oh, the other child is crying. You're hungry? Okay, we can feed the baby. 
<laughs> yeah, they're they're apparently really amazing. Wait, oh god, that's the mom. I was like, who's that? <laughs> and then we will help blow our little baby's candles. Let's unlock the door. <laughs> there! Oh, I'm so proud of us. We get to age up Aureli before um, they are, like, before Friday is over. That way, we can work on their three or four skills I think they need before they're a toddler. Or before they're a child, like, before they can age up. So we're just going to be working on them all weekend. It's going to be fine. It's going to be great. I'm very excited. Oh, this small little child is crying again. Okay. Time to age you up, baby. Little orange hair. Little orange cutie. Oh. Oh my god. Have you ever seen a baby that's so cute? And just like so excited to age up? Look at those little teeth. Look at those teethers. Oh my goodness. I got a pet a puppy today, so I'm just in a really good mood. That was a majority of my work day was me petting a puppy and it was it was worth it was very worth it. I'm very allergic to whatever the dog eats because every time she gave me kisses, I would like get a little hive. So I've got like a hive right here that's itchy, so I apologize if I'm itching it. <laughs> it's just itchy. And annoying. Okay, so this child is lactose intolerant, warm hearted, and a music lover. I'm gonna give them this. And you are going to add birthday candles, please. And we will clear this. Mama has received everything in the mail, which was slim pickings this time. Wow. All right. There you go. And yeah, tend to this monster. There you go. And let's let's go into Cass and we'll give... We're not going to spend as much time as we normally do in Cass. We're just... In and out real quick. In and out, in and out. <laughs> so we can get it over done with. <laughs> I'm so excited. I would definitely not order this drink again. If you're into... I don't know, it's just not as... It's not as smooth as normal matcha lattes. It's the... The strawberry... It's supposed to be even... Maybe it's not oat. Maybe this is normal milk. Maybe that's why. I don't know. It's supposed to be an oat venti iced strawberry matcha latte. It just tastes weird. Although, I will admit, I went to the Starbucks and I drove up to the window because I, want, uh, I wanted to order through the app. And I get to the window and they're like, we don't have an order for you. And I ordered it from Starbucks. But the Starbucks knows me, so they were really nice and they like made my Starbucks drink for me. They're like, what did you order, hun? And I'm like, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. And that's that's why I don't order on the app. Because I choose the wrong thing and then I feel embarrassed and sad. Thank goodness they were all really nice to me, but wow. I just thought that was a funny little story to tell. I guess always check where you are. You had calamari today. I am glad that you had some calamari. I bet it was absolutely sp in here. splendid. <laughs> All right. That is a cute child. And then they had short hair. I want to just see what they look like with like different hairstyles and stuff. Oh, that's cute. They're very adorable. I had I had one heck of a week, so I'm really happy it's the weekend. I literally had to like convince myself every day um to like not go home. <laughs> oh, I wish you were my customer Starbucks you I literally sat in the drive thru with my head in my hands and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry because I ordered it from the wrong freaking store and the girl was like sweetheart please relax it's okay <laughs> just like this happens so much 
And then one of the employees behind her was like trying to make me feel better because she was like, hey, anyone remember that one time that girl ordered at our or came to our window and ordered downtown? Because I, I live nowhere near downtown. And she's like, she was here to pick up our, her order and we look up the order and it's it's downtown. And I was like, ooh. And everyone was like, yeah, that was so funny. And I was like, oh, thank gosh, that's not me. Thank goodness they're trying to make me feel better. <clears throat> you struggle with fighting to want to go home every day, too. I literally had to convince myself this week because it was kind of a chaotic week. Uh, we lost two employees that were there for a very long time, so it was not fun. And uh, I did this whole thing where when they said the one person was no longer working at the at the our, our branch, I um, I hopped because I was sitting on my desk because that's one does in a meeting. I was sitting on my desk and I just hopped off my desk and said, OK, I quit. And then everyone stared at me and I was like, I'm just 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 kidding because I don't have another job yet. Ooh. I almost, almost did. It was so close, so close to freedom, yet so far. I thought it was really funny, but I was very, I'm, I'm still very good at about the one employee leaving, and the other one was let go because they were not the nicest person. So, <laughs> but the feeling of saying I quit, and then I went into my coworker's office, um, and she was like, "You." You actually quit. You meant it the first time you said it, right? I was like, yeah. She's like, that's amazing. That would have been awesome. <laughs> I thought it was funny. But we're in the day and age where you can't just quit your job. Unfortunately, jobs are really hard to find right now. So I'm grateful I have one. And I'm grateful that it's... Uh, close to me I have to be grateful I have to know to, or like remember to be grateful and like check my privilege because not everyone has a job right now but dang it felt good to say I quit and watch my boss's face go gray for a second <laughs> yay oh uh, anyways okay I said that I wasn't gonna spend forever in cast and look what, what am I doing I'm spending forever in cast let's just remove the weird CC off of her and put everyday outfits on her and we'll call it a day. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so excited to finish this. I'm just so excited. So, so, so excited. <clears throat> this challenge has been hard and so scary in the fact like I'm always terrified that my save is going to delete. Or that I'm gonna like my save is gonna be corrupted in some way and I'm always terrified that's gonna happen so I guess that's the same for any challenge but for some reason the 100 baby challenge I've had such a hard time with getting to 100 babies every single time I do it like the file corrupting or deleting the file by accident and yeah I'm just terrified that's gonna happen quitting your job a few months ago the when you didn't have a job lined up was the best decision you've made you did it your mental health and found a job the next day that's amazing i'm so proud of you see if i i have been applying for other places so it it's hard to get a job where i live right now unfortunately and with like food prices going up as high as they are at the moment i don't want to risk it <laughs> i don't want to risk the biscuit you know but i definitely i i'm so proud of you i wish i could I wish I could and then find a job really soon after. <laughs> it's just so hard right now. There's such a low um, employment, um, like low, there's so many jobs, but none of them freaking call you back, you know? What, that's amazing. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you for taking that leap and doing something for your mental health because I preach it and I agree. I like, I 100% believe like your mental health is the most important thing. You need to do what's best for you. And you know what's best for you. Oh, uh, we need to hire a maid for the day. Also, I can hear someone laughing. A male. Oh, there's... Okay. <laughs> it's like, why can I hear a man laughing? Not in my household of all women at the moment. Except for my son. 
creepy. Why do I hear men laughing? I also today, um, as like a little gift to PJ, I got him a, it's called a cloud cake. Um, uh, it's like, a, it's a Japanese cheesecake and I'm so excited to see him try it. I haven't, I bought it before and I don't remember him trying it. I'm very excited. <laughs> Excited. Welcome back, Gretchen. Welcome back. Wait, no, I super efficient baby cared you. There you go. Um, and we have a service. How do you do service? Is it home? Um, hire a service. So we can order a maid, one time maid. So I'm gonna hire a maid. I just literally put gar things away. That's so silly. Okay, um, let's age up both of these monsters. Age up. We just hopped out of cast. I can't believe the way I am, but that's okay. Come in your bed, baby. Thank you. But we're gonna age up the monsters so we can start working on their skills. I haven't. I'm gonna be purchasing it. Um, if not, bef like when it, the day it comes out. The if not the day it comes out, the day after uh, when I get paid. in godly tarnation is happening i <laughs> burn it throw it away oh this child is i want to cry that's so disgustingly scary oh my god what the heck Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. That's so weird. What is this? A, like an adult hair that's been put on a toddler? <laughs> oh, it's so cursed. It's so cursed. What the fridge nuggets? What is wrong with you, child? You have one eye. You're wearing mittens inside. You have hair up to up to there. I can't even zoom in on it properly. It just like disappears. Oh, it's awful. It's awful and F everything about it is not good. What in the hell? It is a CC horror game. It's like, what are you going to get today? I guess we'll see. Oh my god. I guess we'll... I don't, I don't know what I want to do about this. I. Everything about this is wrong. Let's, let's potty train. Come here. Um, I don't even want to talk to Kamir right now. I just want Kamir to go to bed. I, I Evie might be my new favorite child. Evie's just like living their best life, boogieing, working on that dance skill. And their their sibling over here is cursed and they're, they everything about this is wrong. Oh, no, we're going to fix it in a second. <laughs> Um, my kids are going to be home soon, so I want to see if any of them have to age up, and then we'll hop into gas. <laughs> You're like, okay, cool. We're just leaving this? This is how things... Okay, cool. That's that's nice. I like that you're just leaving things the way they are. Simply 127 my love! You, your little monstrosity, lol. Simply 127 high. I'm trying. I'm trying to finish it. How are you doing, darling? I hope you're having a beautiful Friday. I hope you had a really good week. Thank you for the freaking 22 whole, 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 months. 22 months. Holy crap. That is so crazy. Let's do maybe a spin. I'm so excited. Yay. The wheel is like, I don't know. You're not mad at it? Just disturb no. If I didn't see this, does it count? If I just suddenly no longer have sight and just accidentally hid the hide choice. If I get five people say respin in the chat, I will respin. <laughs> That's 
two whole babies. That's two whole babies. <laughs> I didn't see anything. I've suddenly forgot how to see. Yeah, permanently. They're gone. Like, they don't count. It goes to 84 or 82. Oh, my God. Okay. Oop. Oh, my God. I don't know what just happened. It just didn't work. I have respinned. Oh, no. That was not happening. That I can do. That I can do. But taking away two of my children permanently? See, I didn't read that right. I could have taken them away and had them count towards the 100 baby challenge. Did I read it wrong? Did I read it wrong? Rose has not, Rose has not done this one yet. But, I mean, I could have been looking at the wrong side of things. It could have been like, Take away two children, meaning like they move away, but then it still can't. Oh, I'm just sitting. Uh, we'll we'll unlock the grilled cheese aspiration for her, for Rose. <laughs> that was horrifying. I don't ever want to be scared like that again. If one of my teenagers ends up having to stay for the weekend, we'll unlock the grilled cheese aspiration for them. Um, but if not, then Rose will do it. Um, that was awful. That was what nightmares are made out of. Also, she has a tampon, but she also is pregnant. So if that makes sense. Yay! Cal is a, a sunny power is... I don't know what's happening. Primrose0414 tip $40. Pre-order for growing together. <laughs> That's so freaking sweet. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah. That you were so gosh dang sweet. Oh my god. You did not have to do that. Wow! Oh my god, thank you! That was so freaking generous. I am absolutely blown away. Thank you, my love. I'm like shaky. Whoa, that is so sweet. Ah, what? <laughs> I'm just like blown away. Thank that is. I just cannot. I, I cannot. Thank you, my darling. You are so gosh dang sweet. What the actual heck? You know, you you are just a very wonderful human. I love you. Thank you. That is so sweet. Thank you. Oh my god. I cannot. I cannot right now. I cannot. Thank you, my darling. I don't think thank you is enough. I just, big hugs to Prim in the chat. That is so fucking sweet. I'm sorry for swearing, but it is. <laughs> ah. ah, not me almost crying. Oh my goodness. All right, she's a glutton. I'm gonna give her whatever that was. <laughs> All right, and she will add birthday candles. I will pre-order that as soon as we are done this stream with your unbelievably kind generosity. Seriously, that is, wow. I'm actually just blown away. Okay, blow out your candles because you're a bee as well. And then you can take a selfie. You're so angry though. <laughs> okay, I can't have her looking this angry because she's, oh wait, she's power. She can be this angry because this is kind of like her vibe, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I feel like this actually is, it kind of tracks for power. It kind of tracks. <laughs> I agree. Our community wouldn't be the same with, like, if any of you weren't in our community. Our community is just stronger because you guys are here. You guys are amazing and wonderful and lovely, and I appreciate each and every single one of you. So freaking much. Ah. <laughs> oh my goodness.
Remove from family. Goodbye. Oh, okay, you're gonna go outside to age up. Good for you. Add birthday candles back to the cake. You are outgoing. Good for you. I'm gonna make you that. <laughs> and because our son um, is staying, he's not uh, he's not aging up yet. I'm gonna have him be the one to unlock the grilled cheese master. Um, just just because it, it fits. His personality, I feel like he's kind of a little bit of a grilled cheese monkey. She is so pretty. Like, sorry, I, f I feel like they had they, them pronouns is what we chose for them. Um, They are so pretty. Love them. Is anyone super nervous for Sunday for the very last episode of The Last of Us? I am so scared. I know what happens, but I'm still, I'm not ready. I am not ready for it. I'm just... Every every day that we get closer to it, I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, obviously, no spoilers because we don't do spoilers. But like, oh my god, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Like that is, it's literally my favorite show, ever, ever. The Last of Us is my favorite show ever, and I'm just, I just don't know what I'm gonna do with myself with it being over. Like, what am I gonna do? I don't want it to end either, and I know what happens in the next season. But I feel like without, again, any spoilers, because some people haven't played the video game without. N I'm hoping that they split the set, the second game into multiple seasons. So that way we can have like certain things for longer. And um, yeah, hopefully I just I really love it. My coworker is actually watching it too, and I was like, "Girl, have you played the game?" And she has not yet, and uh, she's indicated that she and her partner are. Oh, what was making her glitch? Not the socks. Okay, something in her accessories was making her broken. Oh. Mittens. Glitched mittens. Interesting. Oh, huh, that is very weird. But yeah, my coworker and her partner, I think, are going to be watch or playing The Last of Us because of how much they've enjoyed the game or the show. Um, she was saying how she she wants to play the game now and see what's going to happen, but is also nervous. I wish it was also a book. I've been reading a fan fiction. Um, about The Last of Us, if anyone wants it. It's amazing. It's really well written. And it's not a... There's a little bit of romance. Um, not a lot. Nothing, like, too intense. Um, but it's really nice. And it's so freaking sad. There's so much sadness in it. But it's so well written and so good. So I would highly recommend it to anyone who does like to read fan fiction. Because I just want The Last of Us book. Like, I wish there was a book. I don't I don't think there is if I'm if there is I'm getting it immediately but like I don't think there is <laughs> like the hundred I still need to read the hundred books I love the tv show so 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 much I really need to read the books because the tv show is one of my favorites <laughs> okay and I'll get the just in case someone does want to read that fan fiction I'll grab it for you wasn't the hundred good and the ending? I honestly, a lot of people were very disappointed with the ending, but I thought, I thought the ending was good, and I loved how, how it, how everything just happened in the hundred, and like the last few seasons, while being extremely confusing, was still super amazing. This is the fan fiction. Um, that I was talking about is called Averno, and it's uh, right now five hours and fifty one or forty one minutes long. It's um, it's about a girl who basically grew up with Joel and um, their and Tommy. Um, she grew up with them and falls in love with Joel, and they have like this relationship together. Um, and she basically helps raise Sarah. And it's very beautiful. It's a very good one. 
Who is my favorite character? I loved, um, I loved Octavia. And then I ended up, I always loved Bellamy. Bellamy was like my favorite from the very beginning, even when he was a big old mean guy. Um, <laughs> I say that because I don't want to, don't want to call him a, a, a D. He was, he was a D. Um, but I loved Bellamy and I loved how protective he was over his sister and how his sister was literally his whole life. And I thought he had a really good, like good chemistry with Clark. I loved Clark. I did not like her mom. I don't know why. I just didn't like her mom, but I did like Clark. Oh my gosh, Michelle. Thank you for your sub. You sweet bean. Thank you for using your prime on me. You only get one of those a month and you used it on me and I feel very blessed. What the heck? Oh, let's do a little heart on my face while we talk about the hundred. Um, Octavia and Bellamy were your favorites. Same with um, Monty was one of my favorites. Uh, actually loved Monty. And I love that him and his friends were exiled because they smoked the devil's lettuce. I thought that was really funny. Um, that's why they were in jail. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. Um, but I really liked that, and um, they were just real. The whole, the whole, come like what? What? Oh, who's the, the cockroach? I can't remember his name. They are married in real life. They actually are, and it makes my heart so happy. And in the show or in the books, they're actually supposed to get together. I think around like the second book, their characters are actually supposed to be together. I'm. I'm just I I wish they had done that because I loved the way the way they were together, but they never ended up getting together, so that was sadness. But but thank you, Michelle, for the sub. I really appreciate you, love. You like Bellamy in the early seasons. I liked him as they went on because I felt like his character kind of progressed and he got a little bit different and stuff uh, over time. But I liked Octavia until she became Blood Reyna, and then I feel like she kind of went off the deep end. But also, I think it's kind of poetic. I'm going to spin this while we talk. Um, it was poetic because she went crazy so that others didn't have to. Um, like, she went, she took all the burden on her shoulders. Oh no, $50 per child. So we've got to remove uh, one, two, three, four. So $400. No, $200. I kind of think it's poetic that she went and she lost her mind because she took the weight of the sh everything on her shoulders. Like after her partner um, was no longer around, uh, I guess I can we can kind of do spoilers for it because if you haven't watched the hundred, it's been years. <laughs> it's been so long. I feel like it ended years and years and years and years and years ago, but. Um, he just, she, she kind of lost her mind after her partner passed, and it's yeah, such a freaking good freaking show. <laughs> I loved it. I loved after everything because I stopped watching it for a really long time, um, and then I picked it up at the end when I think it was just as the last season was out or the last season had just finished, and me and my uh, me and PJ picked it up. And started watching it again and we both were like really happy with it i kind of really want to watch it again too i kind of really want to watch it again i i'm thinking <laughs> i because i only watched i watched the first season first like three or four seasons probably like six times but re-watching i've never watched the last after blood reina I've never watched that again. Like I've never watched when like Clark is alone on earth and, and stuff. And if anyone doesn't know what the hundred is about, it's basically the earth has a nuclear, like nuclear war. Um, and the countries go into space because the earth is just like destroyed. Um, and they go into space and they create a collective space station with all of the other countries creating this like harmonious like thing up in space like this this space station um against with all the countries and they they end up living up there for hundreds of hundreds of years creating generations and generations of their these people um 
but they find out that there is some sort of like malfunction on the ship and there is not a lot of time that they're able to stay up there. So they end up sending down 100 children, kids, an ark. Thank you. That is the word that I was trying to think of, but my brain was like, it's a word, it's a thing, it's a ship, it's a spy, it, you know, it's Superman. Um, but yeah, they end up sending down 100 children to what could potentially be a radioactive Earth um, in hopes that Earth is habitable so that the adults can then go on the Earth and, you know, live. But when the children are going down to Earth, they crash. So it's really good. And obviously these children that they send down are all people who are under 18 and cannot be, um, they've all committed some sort of crime and they cannot be put accountable for their crime because they are under 18. And usually when you have a crime, instead of going to jail, you are pushed out of the, sh you're like, you're literally vo vaulted out of the arc. Like doors open, you're gone. Um, so it's really good. <laughs> It's a really good show. And it's basically these these teenagers living on Earth, realizing that it is semi-habitable and they may not be alone. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> the, the whole storyline is so interesting. It's so intriguing. You started watching Lost, which reminds you of the 100. Ooh, Lost is so good. The, the series gets so weird, though. It gets really weird. <laughs> How far along are you in Lost? I watched Lost way before I watched The 100, and I finished Lost, but Lost is weird. <laughs> there's that one point in Lost that it started losing me. I think it was, I think there's six seasons, if I remember correctly. And I think it was like third or fourth season. There's something that happens, and I was just like, what the fridge? <laughs> You're in season four, which is, yeah, okay. It's getting weirder. You'll see. It's just a, it's a weird one. That's a weird show. Good. Good. And I even liked the ending. I thought the ending, a lot of people, I have very weird opinions about endings of shows. A lot of people hate endings of shows. And I'm like, this was all right. Like Game of Thrones wasn't the worst ending I've ever seen. A little disappointing, but opens up to other opportunities. Other opportunities that could potentially happen because of that ending. Everyone in this house is a redhead, except for this child. Hi, Cher. You started watching The Last of Us because of me. What do you think? What do you think, Cher? What do you think? Are you in love with it? Do you love it? <laughs> it's it's amazing. Okay, you need to do your homework, please. Isn't it amazing? Oh, I'm so glad that you're enjoying it. Heck yes. Welcome to the, the Last of Us fan club. We meet every Sunday and then cry at, at we we meet every Sunday at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and then we cry after it's over. <laughs> and I just I can't believe it's almost over. Like we're literally the last episode is this Sunday and I'm just like nine episodes is not enough. Like I miss the days when a TV series was 15 to 22 episodes. 15 to 22. That was the day. Back in the day. I miss that so much. I mean, it, it makes sense that they only made it nine episodes because I feel like if they did like even 12 or 13, it would be too much. Like not too much, but it would be kind of boring, like repetitive. If there was a zombie outbreak and I could only have three items, what would they be? Ooh. Um. Okay, are they items that I currently own or are they anything that I could have? Because... If it's anything, I would want. If it's anything in the world, I would want a bow and arrow. I would want a how to use a bow and arrow for dummies. And I would want uh, one of those like filterable water bottles that you can like put water in and then it filters the water for you. So you can literally put any type of water and it will filter it for you. Those are my three items. How to, <laughs> how to shoot bows and arrows for dummies, a bow and arrow. Or a bow, and then the ability to make arrows, I guess, because I would have the book that tells me all the things. And then a filterable water bottle. And, okay, the how to how to do bows and arrows, we'll, we'll take that away. Okay, so it's going to be bow a bow. It's going to be... Okay. Okay, a bow. It's going to be... 
filterable water bottle. And because I have um, female reproductive organs, probably like a diva cup, to be completely honest, because I feel like that would probably be the most helpful thing that you could have. <laughs> Just being honest, 100%. If it's things that I own, I have a knife that my dad passed down to me from my uncle when he passed away. Um, it would be that knife um, because it's a beautiful knife and I feel like it would be really good for stabby stabbing. Not humans, but the zombie variety. Um, my dad's bow, because my dad has a hunting bow that I could probably use. It'd be too big. I feel like it'd be a little bit bulky, but I could make it work. Um, and my stuffed animal. I have a stuffy that I'm not letting go. I'll have it in a backpack or something, but it'll be like my only comfort from home. <laughs> What would you have? If you were to be in a zombie apocalypse and you could have any three things, what would they be? I would love to know. <clears throat> okay, Mama's got... No, not Mama. Uh, well, she can make the grilled cheese. There's nothing that says that she can't make it for him. Okay, serve. I would rather her serve it as well because, like, him making grilled cheese sounds scary. Um, Where is grilled cheese, by the way? Yes, cook. It really does make you think. You hate shows that are 10 episodes? I do too. It makes me sad because I just want all of the episodes. And I want them as soon as it comes out. Like, I need to finish you this weekend because the second part just, just launched. And yeah. A machete, a filtered water bottle, and a backpack. Very smart. An axe or some short, sharp weapon, a tarp, and a filtered water bottle. You guys are thinking very smart. I like that. A tarp. I never even thought of a tarp. And a machete would be amazing. I agree. <laughs> very smart. <laughs> I feel like you could find socks pretty easily, though. I feel like that's not going to be picked over in the stores, you know? You're pretending. I, me too. I'm pretending I already have a backpack. If I need to, I could make a, like, a backpack out of, like, the things around my house if I needed to. I'm sure you could like carpenter something together or carpenter something. No, no, no. That's not what that's called. <laughs> okay, let's potty train cute little Evie because she's just waddling around being super angry because she's hungry. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's sell that. Wow, that's worth a lot of money. Holy. Okay. And this little baby is tired. So I'm going to have her come play with a xylophone. Cool. I love this conversation because it's always so cool to see what other people would think to bring. Because, like, I never would think to bring, like, a machete or a tarp. You had a nightmare last night that there was a zombie outbreak and your only worry was getting home to be with my cats. I feel like that is a very valid worry. Like, one should not have to worry about their cats in the midst of a zombie apocalypse. You know, like, your cats should just be, cons like, taken care of. They should be safe. <laughs> um, oh, Sunny. Oh, gosh, that's... Okay, he's gonna sneak out with his friends. Good for him, having friends to sneak out to. If you had uh, to pick one place I happen to stumble upon and uh, be able to raid, it would be a pharmacy. Oh god, I would be stocking up on everything at the pharmacy. 100%. Um, sneak out to go to the hay or the sleepover with your friends. Why are you snuggling garbage, you weird sim? You would use your machete to defend my cat. Someone knocks on your door, you're like, mm -mm, no, that's okay. No. <laughs> no for people hanging out at my house during the middle of a zombie apocalypse. I feel like my work would still be like, hey, are you coming in? <laughs> I feel like a lot of people feel like that. Their work would be like that. Are you guys? Are you still going to make it into work? Just because there's a zombie apocalypse does not mean you can't just show up to your shift. <laughs> I love it. I don't love it, but I think it's funny. But it's a collective thing. 
So you seen this? You have no more sick days to use. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to make it in because we can't have you not working or like not having like pay. So you're gonna have to come in. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think Mama's gonna unlock the grilled cheese aspiration so we can get it over and done with. Oh, and we have to remove 400 simoleons. I almost forgot. Minus 400. <laughs> It's so true, though. It's always fun making fun of corporate companies and stuff like that when they're it's it's so it's so relatable and so ridiculous how they are sometimes most of the time. I think I think she has to eat three or four grilled cheese, right? Maybe three. We'll try three. We'll go from there. And then you are going to have your mama potty train you. Your, come here. You look so much cuter now that your head's not like floating above your body six feet. Like some sort of little, oh, she's gone to sleep. Some little exorcism child. Okay, eat another grilled cheese, please. Thank you. If you had to be in any zombie apocalypse show, which show would you choose? Would you choose something like um, The Last of Us or The Walking Dead or mm, I feel like there's more. I'm just not thinking of them. Like which 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 variety would you choose? Okay, Mama, are you going to eat one more, please? I think one more. Anything but the left. Anything but The Last of Us or Left for Dead. Okay, but like, what about, what about, what? <laughs> Why not The Last of Us? I would choose The Last of Us. For sure. Okay. Has she unlocked the grilled cheese aspiration yet? I don't think so. Um, food. Yay, she did. I just didn't see it. Okay. Because you're in downtown area and you beat out of luck. You'd be like, mm, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna lock my doors and hope for the best. As long as you have Ron Swanson or Joel in my life, right? I want to find the Ron Swanson in um, The Last of Us, like his his character. I want to find him and his little settlement and become his best friend, even though I probably would get shot by him immediately. <laughs> mushrooms are freaky. Mushrooms are freaky. I don't even like mushrooms, like, just to eat normal mushrooms. The only normal mushroom food that I'll eat is Campbell's mushroom soup. That is the only mushroom soup I'll eat. Or mushroom in general. I, I just hate mushrooms. Ugh. <laughs> also, like, the whole cordyceps thing, the fact that it could be real and that there's actual cordyceps in the states that are actually mutating is just very weird. <laughs> Oh, that's true. You think The Walking Dead, because at least you'd have ample space to run, not in a city, and can try and run to the countryside, and that's not far and foot. There you go. That would make sense. I feel like with the, the, the Walking Dead world, too, if you just, like, waited it out long enough, I feel like the zombies would all just kind of, like, crumble, you know? Like, they just kind of, like, die off eventually. Because they kind of just, like, get a little dried up, you know? Uh, in one of those radio transmitter things that can be used to send and receive messages that has a light on it. It's it's a thing, but I can't recall the name. I think it's rank for a generator thing. Protective clothing. Ooh, does that count as one? Yes, that does count. And thinnies that you can start and spark a fire. I don't remember. Flint and steel. Those are so smart. So a radio transmitter. So you want basically like a satellite phone. Because a satellite phone can be used anywhere. Um, a hand with a hand crank generator, a collective uh, protective clothing, a set of protective clothing. We're going to count that as one and a flint and steel. I like that. Those are some good night items. Mm. Those are good. I like those. No, why is everyone sad about this freaking holiday? Oh my God. And talk like a pirate day doesn't even exist to me. It's annoying and I hate it. I don't like it. <laughs> don't like it at all. 
depends on the type of virus. Probably a mask could be counted as protect. Yeah, if it's The Last of Us, you're definitely gonna want the mask, even though they don't have the mask in like the spores in the movie or the TV show. Sorry, there are spores. There are spores in the uh, in the game. Thank God it's not in the TV show. That would be terrifying. <laughs> Okay, you can play. Keep playing. Evie's doing amazing with her thinking. Noodle's just on top of my PC, living her best life. I wonder if zombies had taken over the world. What would happen to the astronauts up in space? Well, I guess, like, hoping that they didn't come into any contaminants. They'd either be fine and totally blissfully unaware of what's going on on the Earth, except without, like, humans actually taking care of certain things. It's like scientifically proven that if we're not taking care and maintaining like certain things like nuclear power plants and things like that, then it would, there would, it would, things would, you know, um, <laughs> they do have spores, not in the TV show, the TV show, they mentioned something about spores, but that it's not actually like, it's not, it's not a thing in the show yet. Cause if it was, it would have been the really big zombie that came out of the wall, the, the ground, he would have had spores coming off of him. Yeah, spores aren't a thing in the TV show, which I'm glad for, because I think it would have, one, made things way more complicated, and two, it would have been just way less visually nice. <laughs> it would have been really hard for them to do, I think, too. And I like, <laughs> I like, there was this meme, and it was like, um, when... When like the writers are sitting in their writing room and they're like, we want to be as authentic to the game as possible. We want to make sure it's 100% of the game. Um, it's going to be absolutely perfect. And then they're like, we have cast Pedro Pascal as Joel. And they're like, no spores, no face masks. Because he's had enough of that already in The Mandalorian. I laughed very hard at that joke. It's true. He has had a lot of uh, face masks in The Mandalorian. Come and go swim laps in your beautiful odd shaped pool i'm even gonna have mama come and eat emergency hand crank radios yes there you go oh i mean it makes sense i had a hand crank tv um before not what you're looking for ah uh, you're talking about like the thing with like the button and you can talk into it basically what is wrong oh she's lactose intolerant oh god and she's farting it's awful. Swim laps, please. My favorite character in the last... Why can't she get in the pool? Swim laps. What? Go here. Why can't she get in the pool? Um... Oh, that's weird. I thought this pool was 100% usable. I guess not. Um... My favorite character... Maybe it's the... That's weird. I thought it would be usable. Oh, whatever. It's just a pretty lawn ornament then. Probably a mix between Ellie and Joel. I really love Joel's character and I love how much progression he has. Like how different, like how he changes throughout the, the, the game. And I love Ellie with my whole heart. She is absolutely everything. Dina wasn't my in the second game. There's a character named Dina, and she's not my favorite character. I don't know why. I just never really took to her character, but <laughs> what about you? Who's your favorite? When Joel called Ella baby girl, when they called Ellie baby girl, I was like, oh my god, like oh, my whole heart. I just love how visually ap appealing the the game and the TV show are, and they both tell such different, like, drastically different stories, and they're just both beautiful. Like, they're just so good. If I had to choose one to be with you, to oh, Joel, one hundred percent, one hundred percent, Joel. Ellie in the second game, with no spoilers, Ellie very much takes on Joel's persona. And like how ruthless she is, like Ellie is lethal, just like Joel is. Like if you try to mess with someone that Joel loves, he would burn down the world for you. But 
Ellie always kind of was a little bit more softer than that him. And in the second game, she becomes very, very much like him. Yeah, I think Joel, because I feel like I could probably get him to become my friend because I'm a very personable person. I think he would really enjoy my company. <laughs> and I would really like him just in case something goes south, you know? <laughs> just in case something goes a little haywire. Just in case. Oh, this person is aged up on my front porch. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, Lario, you should really quit your job. You fell in love with her character even more for how hard she goes for him in the second game, right? Without without any spoilers, because I know some people here haven't played the game, and I don't want I don't want them to be upset when they find out what happens. But I agree. She is Ellie is is so badass, so badass. Hi, welcome in, Amber. How are you doing, friends? Welcome in. How you doing? Oh, thank you for the hydrate reminder. I'm going to drink my weird matcha. I'm not ever going to. There's something about matcha and strawberry that I'm not a fan of. I'm going to just continue to drink it, though, because it was $8 and I'm not wasting any money. <laughs> I don't waste. You don't mind? That's good. Wow, that actually... It looks awful because it's fish. And I... But it looks good. She made a good little meal. I'm going to put it in the fridge. There you go. Our combos tonight. I <laughs> love you. Can't wait to watch you play Growing Together. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. That means our Friday stream will be growing together. Because it comes out on Thursday, right? Oh. Oh no, she's so mad at him. He's catching him get coming home. Oh no. Can she like... Can she... Get mad at... Can she like punish him for sneaking out? I don't think so. Because he snuck out with his friends. I'm not sure she can actually punish him for that. Ask for money. Let's see if that works. It worked. He gave me 61 simoleons. Sir, that, you live with... What? How? <laughs> what? I love that. Are you so excited too? I'm so excited. And thank you, Amber. That's so sweet. You're nice as well. I am so excited for growing together. I think it's going to be so beautiful. I know that there's going to be bugs. And I know a lot of my mods are going to be broken. But that's okay. <clears throat> You gotta take some to win some, like, you gotta lose some to win some, or whatever that saying is, you know? Okay, can I have her go here? I really wanted her to swim. Why can't she get in the pool? Okay, I'm going to delete this pool. And I'm going to just grab the one off of the gallery that... I might have to cheat the money, but I'm going to just cheat it because I already owned it. I just don't know why it's not working. You can't find it. Apparently, uh, these new ones could also have solar panels. Solar panels will be very smart. That's a very smart idea to have, too. Solar panels. Mm. I think it's a room. Yeah, it's this one. Um, it says it's 33,000 simoleons, but that's a lie. Let's put another... We're at 34... We were at, like, what? 4,000 simoleons. We'll just copy it to 4,000. Um, but we'll just put a lot. And we'll just put it back to 4,000. Oh, it's 42,000. Well, that's... Oh. You have to have a ladder, maybe? Well, Intarnation? Hmm. Okay. That and dog whistles. Oh, that's a smart thing to get too. A doggy whistle. Okay. All right. I'm going to give her 5,000 simoleons. We'll add it. 
and then we'll add a few things back to the pool. Um. Oh God. <laughs> I think I just okay four thousand. Set it. There we go. And we'll give her a uh, a tree. There we go. I think this should work now. Let's see. Back float. You're pregnant. You deserve to back float. Okay, that's all I needed. Seriously, that is annoying. But that's fine. Now we have a beautiful pool. Yay! She finally gets to use her ool. Her beautiful pool. Aww. Look at her swimming. She's so pretty. She looks so like she looks so happy and relaxed. I love to see I love seeing her pregnant belly. She's just so pregnant. Don't die, sis. Right? She'll be fine. She's not gonna die. She's going nowhere. She's upset because she peed herself. I don't even recall this. No one remembers. Don't worry about it. Swim laps. How's the babies doing? You're doing fine and you're doing fine. I'm gonna have you wake up. Because it's Saturday and I want these babies to age up today. Hug, 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 talk. Throw a little talk in there. Talk is cheap. It's free even. Thank you for the save. I really appreciate that. It's a very good idea. Very good. I haven't saved yet. I'm very confused. I just got $1 charge from Uber Canada. Have I used Uber in the last couple of days? No. I don't know why they just charged me a dollar. Uber, explain yourself. This makes no sense. I wonder if they do that. It says that they, they just charged me a dollar, but I don't see anything in their app saying they charged me a dollar. I'm wondering if they do that. Hmm. Good night, my love. Have a beautiful sleep. Thank you for hanging out with us. I really appreciate you so freaking much. And again, I'll I'll pre-order that uh, growing together. I forgot what it was called for a sec. I'll pre-order that tonight, my love. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, wow. Children. <laughs> Stinky babies. Her daughter's good at violin. She's actually learning. Aurelia's learning violin pretty well, actually. Okay, uh, what's Mama doing? Taking care of baby? No. How about you just, like, come and nap? Sunbathe. Ooh, that'd be a good idea. She might get a little bit of a tan. Little wee tan. <clears throat> and you. Can you play with this? No. Okay. How about... Backflip. There you go. See, nothing... In 46 minutes, you're, you're going to forget that you ever peed yourself. It's going to be a thing that just never happened. Oh my god. I want to sleep on a freaking... What is this? Like a, a, a floating device in the pool? I want to do that. That sounds really nice and relaxing. Also, the blue looks amazing on her. I'm trying to take a photo. Um... But I'm worried if it's this, it's going to be way too boobalicious for the YouTubes. Because I need a thumbnail for the... For the three. How can you die pool or in an ocean? In The Sims, I think you can only die in the ocean. No, you can also die in the pool. But um, that's from exhaustion, uh, from it being too cold. And your sim can also die in the ocean. I just don't remember. I think it's the same things. Like, it's too cold, if you're exhausted, things like that. If they have low fitness, sometimes they can drown or they're really sleepy. I'm pretty sure they can drown. <laughs> There's a lot of ways you can drown. We actually had a sim already drown in this challenge, I'm pretty sure. Are you not done this yet? Resume your large classic painting, sir. Why does this look like Brungle? Oh, it's salted cheese! Oh my god, what a legend. 
I don't know why that song, um, uh, I'm a bit, I'm a boss. Just popped in my head with, <laughs> he's so cute with his little backpack. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. Other time. There, see, she forgot all about peeing herself. She's happy now. I'm gonna have her practice her speech. Now, I'm gonna wake up the babies. We're gonna wake you up. What do you need to work on? None of everything. Work on this first. Is there a mod for island living? There is a mod. For, is that is that the the mod that makes it so your mermaids are like lethal? So I know of that mod. That mod is intense. <laughs> We're gonna just focus on the babies, I think, because everyone else is pretty much cared for. So we're just gonna like focus on them. You're gonna wake up though, and you're going to hug and talk to the bear a little bit. I'm gonna play xylophone more. Deadly Sirens Call. Yes, I think I used to have that. I don't think I have it anymore. I don't play in Island Living enough to have the mod for myself. At least not right now. Oh my god, she's doing so good. She might be level 5 of that soon. And you are gonna continue just flying away on this. Okay, try Xylophone again, my love. Please and thank you. I'm just gonna, I think hugging is shorter and works better. Level four. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll still take care of mama. I'm gonna, wow, she's so tan. Oh my God. I've never seen her tan. Oh, she looks so good. She's gonna make butternut gnocchi. Whoa. What a queen. Look at her. She's like, hmm. She looks so sad because she's so, so, so tan. She's probably warm. Um. Oh, does she, does she have a burn? She's sunburned. Ouch. Rose stayed out in the sun too long, and now she looks like a lobster. No touching. I mean, she doesn't look like a lobster to me, but maybe to her, she's like, I'm lobster-esque. Let's see for her sleeping wear. One of them has like... Uh, I just want to see the tan lines. I think that'd be really cool. I just don't remember which outfit I could probably see them in. Maybe this one, I guess. Oh my god, you can see her tan lines. Oh, you can see it on her belly. Oh my goodness. That's actually so Dane starting like stinking cute. Oh my goodness. That's so funny. Oh, you poor thing. I'm also going to take one with the uh, tofu. She's so pretty, isn't she? She is a stunner. My Sim doesn't need to go to the hospital. She does not need to go to the hospital. A sunburn, unless very dangerously sunburned is not a hospital theme. <laughs> Hi, 3M. How are you doing today, darling? Welcome in. Oh, God. You can't pee in front of your sister. That's not so weird. He literally could not hold it, though. Level 5 of communication. You are such a good baby. What a good baby. You get food now. You get... Whatever that is. <laughs> oh. I mean, I would have fed her regardless. I'm not, you know, I'm not a monster. But she gets food now because she's so amazing. Skip prom. I'm not doing prom. Okay. Let's turn off following him to school. He will be an A on Monday, which is great. 
I'm also going to purchase some school projects because I feel like she could work on them and I think that might help with her school pro like her school progress. So which is always good. Getting that school progress up. Um let's work on that one and we'll get a solar system one as well. And the constructor bridge. And I'll put these in mom's inventory so no one like smashes them like the Hulk. No one angry Hulk smashes smashes them when they shouldn't. <laughs> Cause that's always fun. Start working carefully, darling. And then hopefully that works well. <clears throat> Come here, you're doing so good. I'm so proud of you. Oh, she's done. You're done your thinking. You don't have to even worry about it anymore. Who's even thinking about their, their thinking skill? Not me. Not Kamir. Um, can you come and potty train Kamir though? Because she does have to pee. Is there a scuba reaper? I didn't know that there was a scuba reaper. That's cool. I've never seen him. She could have put suntan lotion on regardless. Regardless, I'm pretty sure because she was outside, but maybe I'm wrong. I know if you're in Solani, you definitely can. I, I think I've lived there like once. I very rarely live in Solani. I don't know why. I don't have anything against Solani. It's just not my favorite world. Also, the cleaner never cleaned this bathtub. I thought if it was a hot day, your sim could put suntan lotion on regardless. That's silly. Your sim should be able to put it on wherever they live. Because you know. Burns happen. Solani is beautiful. Oh, you need to take care of your skill yourself, my dear. Come and use the toilet. Oh, goodness gracious. What the friggin' chicken. Can you clear out the vines? Because gross. No one likes to look at the vines. You play with mermaid sims quite often. Oh, that's wonderful. I wish they did more with mermaid sims. Like, I wish they had, like, a proper, um... Kind of like werewolves and stuff. How they have, like, the skill tree and stuff. I wish they did more things like that with the werewolf or with them. Does the mod change that as well? Like, is there a mod that makes mermaids better in general? Like, have, like, all the things? Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's so cool. That's okay, though. I just wish they had done that. That would have been nice. Can't believe I forgot about that. Take a bubble bath. Enhanced mermaid mod gives them magic. See, that's nice. Also, hi, Thrill. How you doing, love? That's so nice because we deserve we deserve better things, you know? Is that a bunny? Oh no. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I saw a bunny, but okay. It adds way more by uh spinning pump ups. Ah, I love their CC. They're amazing. I don't play with occults very often, so I guess I don't notice how Oh god, you're eating dairy again. I am so sorry. I just continuously am giving this child meat and just like you're better now that you were this morning. You were in bed with a migraine. Thrall, you are the second person. Nicole also had a migraine all day today. Oh my god. Maybe it's something in the air. Maybe it's like something in the uh, in the air today. It just was like migraine city. Because when one person says they have a migraine, that sucks. But when two people say they have a migraine, that, that makes me think it's like the world. <laughs> Grim Reaper now gives me pleads. Does he? Oh, that's good. Oh, I'm so glad that you're feeling better, though, Thrall. Migraine virus. Yeah, right? You woke up at 8 a.m. Didn't chill until 5. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. It's just the worst. Like, migraines are some of the most foul feeling things. Because, like, there's not much you can do about it. Unless you have, like, special, like, migraine medicine. But, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I hope you are feeling a lot better and that you've eaten and drank water and you're taking care of yourself because that's really important. Gardenia passed! How did Gardenia pass? 
It was Gardenia and Elder. Oh, her brother died. August passed away. I forgot. But was Gardenia an elder? I thought... Hmm. If... Oh, usually just sleep if you have a migraine. Sometimes it hurts too much to sleep, though. I've had migraines where I'm literally just... Like, even just closing my eyes, I'm nauseous. I'm just like, I can't... How does one function? I guess Gardenia was... Death by anger? Sweetie, what? I want to know the tea of what happened there. <laughs> I haven't got mail. Um, check neighborhood stories because I'm sure it'll pop up something here. That sucks. Sunny, thank you for the follow. Welcome to our family. If you have a name or a pronoun that you prefer to use, please let me know in the chat. My name is Crystal and my pronouns are she, her. I hope you're having a beautiful Friday. Um, Cedar is in a household, is a civil servant in the political career. Oh, this is nice. What else has happened? The Faduka household moved out. The Puri household moved out. Hugh Jackman household moved out. The so, what? Oh, they delivered a baby. Good for them. Your name is Josie and she, her pronouns are fine with you. Awesome, Josie. It's so nice to meet you. Let me put your name and pronouns in. Here. Welcome in, friend. It's so nice to see you. Where do you, where do you put doors and kin rooms in the Sims Four? Wherever you want to put the door. Gardenia. Okay, Gardenia was so angry that she burst into flames and died. Wow, that's dramatic as heck of Gardenia. <laughs> Aw, I love watching streams. So very excited to join. Oh, I'm so glad, Josie. It's so nice to meet you. I hope you enjoy the vibes. You enjoy the vibes. Oh, everyone's going to be sad about this. I'm not going to let them be super sad about it, though, because you're also you eight. So I'm going to just boop that up. Um, if my, all my children are sad about the death of a sibling that they haven't even seen ever. And she's just going to forget about it because she, you know, she's in her third trimester. She can't be sad. She cannot be sad all the time. But the doors for my children are usually here. Like in between stuff. So I have it here and then the bunk bed is here and the bunk bed is here. This room I have it off to the corner. This room is in the middle. I guess it just depends on your, you know. The layout of your house your biggest trigger is a change in sleep schedule in the last couple weeks you've been struggling with insomnia oh no i'm sorry at least you know your trigger and it's something that you can like hopefully work towards you know kind of figuring out i'm so sorry that's something you struggle with though darling big hugs to you Yay! Money! Insomnia is cruel. It really is. She a cruel, cruel one. How many servings is left in here? Three. Okay, you can grab some kettle corn. Oh, we use miscellaneous rooms. Oh my goodness. Then I guess it's up to you where you want to put them wherever that makes the most sense. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to our family. If you have a name or a pronoun that you prefer to use, please, that is 8181, angel numbers. Um, if you have a name or pronoun that you prefer to use, please let me know in the chat. My name is Crystal and my pronouns are she, her. Welcome in. I hope you're having a beautiful day. All right. I'm going to have him sell this. And you're going to wake up. Actually, before he sells it, I'm going to have him teleport in here. And we're going to give a bubble bath to little Kamir. Because she's still stinky. Go teleport. Thank you. This is the first migraine you've had in months. That's, I'm glad that it's the first one in months. Thank goodness. Also, sorry that you had one, but... Glad you know how they, they'd get triggered. It's Father's Day. No. No, not everyone being sad that Father's Day is not working out. 
Ah, oh, silly Sims. Okay. I'm going to go eat. She is in her third trimester, so... Even if we just have two babies today, I will be really happy. But hopefully we can have more. Okay. So you have bathed. You are now no longer a stinky toddler. But you are a toddler that has to pee. So your brother will help you with that while he's trapped in your room. Um, And you are going to wake up. And Mama Bear is going to bathe you. Give bubble bath to little Evie. Your happily let you sleep all day. Made a yummy shrimp dinner. There you go. Oh, I'm glad that he was able to take care of you while you were not feeling well, my dear. That is absolutely wonderful. That is definitely what partners are supposed to do. They're supposed to help you out when you're not feeling the best. Good, good on him. And he said that he's not feeling good. So we'll have to go look up healthcare services. <laughs> And he needs to go to a specialist. Uh-oh. Oh, you're trapped in this room. I'm so sorry. Teleport here. Okay. Now we'll try it again. I don't think I've ever had to have a sim go to a specialist before. It says visiting a specialist can help pinpoint specific conditions um, you may be experiencing. They can diagnose chronic conditions and prescribe medicine. I've been to an allergenist. I don't think I've been here, but I guess we'll see what he's got going on. I'm intrigued to see what role he's been spun in life. Um, can you come and potty train cutie patootie little Evie? And you, my darling, are working on your movement. Good for you. Good, good, good. I'm going to make her continue doing this for a while. That is the um, Health Redux mod. Right? All the family members in this house have such beautiful hair. Their hair is all beautiful orange. She had brown hair, and now since she's traveled to the orange realm, everyone has orange hair. Hi! How are you doing today, Rick? Welcome in, friend. Oh, he's a chronic condition. Oh, he has anemia! He needs to eat healthy, exercise, and can take iron supplements to st stave off the worst effects. There is a condition that is turned into severe anemia in which a blood transfusion may be necessary. <gasps> I mean, I've had Sims who are anemic before, so that's not the first time I've had this happen. But the poor baby looks so sad. I think your mama actually has some um, iron pills. There you go. You can have your mama's iron supplements. She doesn't need them right now. Take an iron supplement, darling. Oh, the poor thing is like so absolutely gutted that he has a like a health condition. That is, that's the number you've been spent, my darling. That's okay, though. Anemia makes you sick a lot? I've never had it. I don't have it. Well, at least I don't think I have it. <laughs> well, welcome in, Rick. It's so nice to see you. My sims do go through a lot, but also with a 100 baby challenge, you have so many sims spinning that like little chance bubble a million times. So a million different things can happen to them. Okay, I'm going to have you come and play the xylophone, please. And your mama is going to go get leftovers. She can have some butternut gnocchi. Oh, I love that he's in here just working on his homework. That's so cute. Living his best life. But we're going to focus on the toddlers because I want them to go to school tomorrow. Hopefully. <laughs> I would really like it if they could go to school on Monday. <sighs> Don't know. Guess we'll see. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay. So then all she needs to do is work on either her potty or her movement. I'm going to try her imagination, even though she's just at level one. This one does fill up really fast. So let's try that. Because you just need this and then I guess one more. Sure, why not? At this point, she's collecting boyfriend like Pokemon. I don't know why Harry Potter has decided to show up with his gray old hair. 
but he has and he is and he's old so he's old she's still young good for her <laughs> she's outliving all her exes as a true queen does <laughs> Okay, and again, we're going to just focus on these cutie patooties. Oh my god, they're doing so good. Level 3 imagination. Level 4, almost level 5 of this skill. Oh, I'm so proud. Can I upgrade these beds to being better? No. That would be nice, but alas, you cannot. I'm going to have him do extra credit, and then you, my darling, are going to go in your bedroom and start working carefully. Level four of imagination. Oh my god, I'm so excited. They're so close. Um, I'll put the, the butternut gnocchi on the floor for them to eat. On the cell phone in the Sims 4, your Sim has a healthcare sign. I don't have that. How do you have that? Is it a mod? It's probably a mod. <laughs> Mods be changing the world. Okay, come on. One more, Bubba's. You're so close. You're 57%. She's also trying to play, but also eat at the same time. And I think that's absolutely adorable. Okay, go to sleep then. You will age up soon, though. You will. It will be wonderful when you do. There you go. Mama is going to go to sleep because she's pregnant and, you know, that's important. You are doing your extra credit. Not that you need it, but I just want you to do it. And then you can do a little workout. I don't have a health care. This is my phone. My sim has trendy, social bunny, entertainment, travel, home, shopping, business, social, camera, meet and mingle, which is a dating app, uh, a deep indigo's healthcare app, and wonderful um, store. Those are the ones that I've got. Mm. Yay, good for you. Oh my god, you're amazing. No, you have to stop that. You don't need to use that. You don't need to use that. Instead, how about you do something that you do need? This. <laughs> Click the car. There's pet care. Recall a pet care. Volunteer. Oh, someone's died. Wimbly has passed away. Oh. Uh split the household move household take vacation or travel those are what i've got this is what i've got oh oh and you've got a headache from anemia okay um can you take another supplement you cannot but i thought working out would help with this anemia anemia that was not the right word <laughs> throw a tantrum you're not a toddler I'm going to have him. Let's just practice making drinks. Why the heck not? And we're not going to be sad about the death of a random family member that none of you knew. That doesn't make sense. She would be sad because I'm pretty sure that was her daughter. But I got rid of it because I don't want to deal with the sadness. Okay. He dislikes fitness. That's fine. I'm gonna have him back float in the pool. Arielli is doing this project still. 
You have woken up angry. Why don't you're actually sleeping? Okay, good. Okay, you need to finish this, please. Play with the cars. Oh my god, wait, you can age up. Oh, you can age up. Holy shoot. Oh my god, she can age up. Holy crap. This is... I did not think she was there. I thought... Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, you need to teleport here, please. And mama. Wakey, wakey, pancakey. Um, come and help blow out candles. Little Evie. Oh my god, I cannot believe Evie already can age up. Look how cute she is. She's so cute, oh my goodness. I have to remember she had pigtails, like she had braids. So that we can keep the braids. Don't they grow up so fast? <laughs> Literally. We just aged her up to a child or a toddler. <laughs> she's already on her way to being a it says that she's sleeping, but she's not sleeping. Um, she's already on her way to becoming a, a child. My god. All right, she is a kleptomaniac. She is gluttonous, and she is a child of the islands. I'm going to make her a social butterfly. Okay, I'm going to have you play with the ball because you're just miserable. Miserable. Um, And can you please come and add birthday candles, please? <laughs> Thank you. And we'll hop into Cass and give Evie a real quick little makeover. Nothing crazy. Just a really quick little sprinkle sprinkle. Little stretch. Oh my god. Ah, stretches are so important. Or stresses. Stretches. Real quick. I know it's like famous last words, right? Also, what is this hair? I said a braid and she said, okay, I'll age up with a braid. No, there we go. Much better. She's got a little bit of Angelina Jolie lips going on. She probably guessed that from her grandma. Who is Megan Fox, not Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Although that would be a, a beautiful sim if I ever did see one. She's so cute. Who's her dad? I can't remember. I give her some like blush. Oh, she's so pretty. Stop it. Her dad's Brett. Of course, her dad's Brendan Fraser. Of course, she's this pretty. <laughs> Naturally, makes sense. Which is why you picked Evie. Yes, you were 100% correct. I remember that now. It makes sense that she's this pretty. Having a dad as adorable and wonderful as Brendan Fraser, it's just a given. She's so pretty. It's giving her random outfits. Oh my gosh. See, sometimes the game does me dirty. There you go. There you go. Let me see if it just chatted. You can see her. He'd be sleeping. I could hear snoring. I turn around, she's sleeping like a baby. It makes me so happy. I'm enjoying the chair. She's just like, and she's covering her face like that. She's a baby and she's just adorable. Oh my God, I love cats. Wonder if I could have, I don't think Cat Cam could get that. Let me see. Go like this. No. I don't think I can, like, I can zoom it in. But I don't think it would be that much. 
much. Let's see. Yeah. Not enough, I don't think. Yeah. She too far. It's so sad. She's so cute. Use body and skin presets. She's pretty. I'm not using any presets or anything on my sim. Just because I like to see what they naturally look like when they age up. But she is very pretty. I'm sure she probably is using some sort of presets though. <laughs> She's so pretty. Yeah, I usually don't change like the genetics of my sim unless they're given something like no chin. Like my one sim, she was given literally no jaw. Um, and I don't think that's very fair. Also, my lips are very dry. This is not my favorite lip balm. I love, it's by, I think it's by Lene, Laneige. I don't know how to say it, but it's so expensive for this like little lip balm, but it's so good. I need to get it again, but it's like $30. And to me, that's very expensive for lip balm. It's called a sleep mask and I need to get it again. It helps. This winter has been so dry here. It's so just, <laughs> Just gross. Just a gross winter. All right. So your sister Evie is all aged up. Oh my God. And she's so pretty. She's so gosh dang stinking pretty. And let's have her go practice something. So she's gaining a skill. You, you, my darling. You need to work on your stuff so we can age you up too. It's just like a mod. You just install it like any other mod, darling. Okay, we're going to save my game just in case as well, because I feel like she's going to be going in labor really soon and we haven't saved for a while and I don't want to lose anything because <laughs> that would make me cry. Much. Cry a lot. Okay, eat your food. And then... <sighs> we can warn on your other stuff. Yay, you finished your school project. Good for you, darling. Okay, go to sleep, please. Oh, wait, no, you don't need to sleep. You have to use the washroom. Thank you for the medicine reminder. Make sure that you are taking your guys' medicines, friends. It's very important. Okay, use the toilet and then take a thoughtful shower. And Mama, how about we serve some chili that sounds delicious i might actually make chili this week that sounds really really good and you are gonna go to bed and hopefully age up tomorrow oh and thank you for the hydrate make sure you guys are hydrating immunity hydration okay you're gonna go to sleep and hopefully i think she'll be a day behind but that's okay we're doing good the fact that she's aged up and hopefully we'll be able to to go to school tomorrow is just the most impressive. Okay. You can put that down. Go do the homework. There you go. Rose is making food. I love that I have a mix of calling her Rose and Rose. Like there's no there's no in between. She's a little bit of both. Oh, she's broken this as well. Oh, she's broken everything today. Prepare that. Okay, you're doing your home. Did you do your homework already? Oh, you're an amazing child. Um, go to your mom's bathroom and use the toilet. And then you can go to sleep because it's 9 p.m. And it's it's bedtime for you. And you can go to sleep because it's bedtime for you. And then your mom is going to go to sleep. And then probably, probably go into labor in the middle of the night. Fingers crossed. One can help. One can wish and dream. Evie did her homework. She did it. She has done it. It was nice and quick. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to have you wake up while your mama's fixing things and you're going to play ball a little bit more. 
And I'm wondering if I should have her work on communication or the other. Probably communication. It's pretty easy. It was just the, it wasn't on fire. It was just, it needed to be fixed. It's all good. It's almost baby time. It is. We're so, so, so close to babies. Oh God, someone else has died? Joshua Delgado. Oh, okay, well, um, whatever. That's so sad. Oh my gosh. Okay, her movement is done. Let's just work on her communication. Ooh, also, Tamora, I'm really excited. Has anyone seen the new Scream movie or is anyone a, a fan of the Scream franchise? Because me and my sister, I think, are going to go see it tomorrow and I'm very excited. I, uh, I'm definitely a fan of the Scream franchise. They are very scary, but very good. And uh, my coworker saw it yesterday and he said it was really awesome. Okay, she may just be able to age up really soon. Hug. Come on, baby girl. Hug, hug, hug. Hug works way better than talk. Hug, talk, get rid of that. Hug, 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 hug. You haven't seen the new one yet. It just literally came out, so that's 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 understandable. I do really want to see it. I'm very excited. Okay, go to sleep, please. Then your mama can have a baby, hopefully. And then when you age up tomorrow, you'll be able to go to school. There, we'll have let her sleep just a little bit, and then um, she can wake up and hug the bear a bit more. It's happening! We're in labor! Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna start the the baby name giveaway. Alright. There you go. If you wanna name the baby, exclamation mark ticket in chat. You know the drill. I'm so excited. This is I don't know how many babies. No, don't have the baby right now. We won't get birth certificates done. Um, I have no idea how many babies she's having. But we're going to join her at the hospital. We'll let the kids stay home. Um, I'm very excited. Oh my god. We're having a baby. Oh my gosh. It's only the one point. It's only one ticket per person. I think. I'm so excited. Oh my god. I'm so excited. We're gonna have a baby. Potentially multiple. I would love twins or triplets. I've not been blessed with triplets yet in this chat. Um, or in like in this this uh this go around. I'm very disappointed about this. I'm very disappointed. I want triplets. I want them. All right, let's go over here and let's ask for an epidural from Mc. Oh, I'll do her. She's cool hair. <laughs> we'll go there. Let's do this. Let's do this. Manifesting, right? Baby dust manifesting them triplets. If you just say ticket, it will put it in. Um, let me see. Yours has gone in. I have yours. I've got four people in so far. So if you want in, it's just exclamation mark ticket and that's it. If you, if you keep doing it more, it'll just say that you have too many tickets, like you've done it too many times. <laughs> 
Oh gosh, who's died now? Reed has passed away. I don't remember who that is, so. <laughs> Sucks to be Reed. She's giving birth, so. All right. And as always, the moment that um, it pops up saying, like, what the baby is, is when I will close the giveaway. So, exclamation mark ticket if you want to name the baby. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, it's hospital time. Go give birth. <clears throat> oh, I think this doctor wasn't able to give birth last time, if I remember correctly. No, okay, good. give birth. Let's ask this blonde lady. Who is apparently upstairs. That's just annoying. <laughs> That's annoying and inconvenient. Okay, yay! It's happening! Hi, worms, welcome in. We're having a baby! Oh my goodness. Okay. And again, exclamation mark ticket if you want to enter to name the baby. Um, no other names will be um, generated. So. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm going to close it in 10 seconds. I'm just going to go to an uh, even number. All right. And the first person who's naming a baby, if there's multiple babies, is Happy. Yay. How do you do the 100 baby challenge? There's a whole bunch of different, um, like, 100 baby, like, rules on the internet. I will grab one from you. This one is Kelsey Dangerous's one. Um, but yeah, you basically just, you have to have 100 babies eventually over the time. And you um, have to age them up naturally. And uh, you have certain rules in place like there are certain things that you can't do you can't cheat money you can't cheat ages you can't have multiple uh, pregnancies with multiple different men or the same man um, or same sim um, yeah different things like that oh sorry it's a girl it's a baby girl I apologize no you there's base game 100 baby challenges as well. Um, base game 100. <clears throat> I'll look it up for you. I think generally The Sims is 100 baby. Uh, as a general sim is, you know, uh, like easy. Um, you don't need anything like that. No, you just need the base game to play the 100 baby challenge. There's a million rules out in there that you can follow and stuff. <laughs> I have no idea, Amber. I don't speak Simlish. I'm sure Google would know. So what do you want to name the baby, Happy Sugar Honey? It's a baby girl, but it can be any name that you want. Gender neutral, anything like that. Stella, Stella. I'm just going to scream Stella every single time I see this child. Okay. And someone else gets to name someone a baby. And that will be... Drill! What do you want to name a baby boy? Little baby boy Valencia. You switched it like five times while typing. You're like, Stella. No. No. Lily. No. No. Stella. No. No. <laughs> Adamendon. I don't know. Words are hard. Oh, I hope it's triplets. We haven't had a single triplet yet. Oh, I really hope it is. We have room. Unfortunately, Amber, that's not how things work. We've already said that, darling. Stefan! Awesome! It's just twins. That's okay. That's okay. We tried our best. Twins is better than none. I guess. And they're with Jensen Eccles, so... I mean... The next guy's gotta be... We've gotta have a baby with, um... The other guy. <laughs> there's Jensen, and then there's, um... What's his name? Jared. Jared Padalecki. We'll have a baby with Jared. Yes, we will save our game as soon as we get back to the house. Oh, I'm so happy. We got two little babies, and they came out so tan because she's so tan right now. Look at the two little babas. And her long ass nails. Mm-mm. Not with little newborns. 
That'd be so, 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 so nerve wracking. Having like tiny, tiny little newborns and then be like, surprise, here's my sharp. Well, I see her butt. Well, I see nothing. There's literally nothing there. Okay, let's go home. <laughs> oh my God, Stefan is hungry. Okay, it sounds like he's going to be a little bit of a, a picky baby. It was like, Tori, no, that's me. Tommy, no, that's silly. Tony might be a stretch. Wait, Luna, no, Stella. <laughs> I love that. That's amazing. Oh, I love your I love your thought process. You're like, that's me. No, not this one. No, not that one. <laughs> that's so precious. All of the names are beautiful. Uh, the next baby is going to be Jared Padalecki because we just had a baby with Jensen Ankle Ackles, Jensen Ackles. Um, so now we'll have one with Jared Padalecki. And we're at 88 babies now. Ooh. Oh. When does the pack come out? The 14th, I think, uh, is the new update. And then the pack comes out on the 16th. Jensen Ankles. Is it Ankles? I call him Ackles. Child payment stop. Oh, who? Who decided to stop payment on my semi? Um, stop it. Who, who decided to stop payment? You've received 4,200. Okay. Brian. Oh, Brian Espinosa. He decided he doesn't have the money to spend on my sim anymore. That's okay. Amber, I'm unfortunately not sure as I'm not playing the Sims 3 generation challenge. Google will be your best friend in looking that up. Okie dokie. I have no idea. <clears throat> We are so close, friends. You couldn't find the dates online for some reason. I That's weird. Silly Google. Silly internet. Who knows? Internet's a silly little goose. Oh my god, my kids are at school. Oh. Study hard. Oh, why are you not studying hard? And why aren't you at school? Get to school. <laughs> Go to school. Thank you for the lyric. I love... I don't know why I said that. Thank you for the lyric, love. I appreciate you. I was trying to say I appreciate you, and I do, but my brain was like, I love you. <laughs> You're scared about default eyes. I think should, yeah. I think all mods are going to be a little broken, just a little broken for a little bit, but I think it's going to be worth it. The things that they're adding to the game are going to be just, just spectacular. Just spectacular. Okay, I'm going to hire a masseuse. A massage therapist to get me a little, a little mush mush, you know, a little mush mush. Come down here, please. She's sad. That's okay. We're all sad sometimes. You're also going to hug and stuff. So baby update is next week. Yes. Mm. Let me know what kind of massage you want. Well, I want the one that's going to make me pregnant with, it, you know, tri tri triplets. Get a massage, a fertility one. You have plans to just play vanilla for the first six to seven days, which means most of your stories will be taking a nice little nap. Oh, it's going to be so, so, so hard playing with no mods. Oh, it's going to be heartbreaking to me. I'll remove most of them, but then I'll probably be back in after a little bit. Because I am weak and I need them. Oh, why are you scared? I don't even have fears enabled in the game. You don't, you can't be scared of something that you, there is nothing. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> and I want to see if there's anything else I can purchase for her to, like, up this fertility gain. We're going to purchase a fr flirty potion, because, you know, flirt, flirt, flirt. Um... You're gonna make a family house for Monday and prep for Tuesday's updates. I do have an update or an overlay in my game that makes my babies look better. I totally forgot about that. You're right. Yeah, no. <laughs> my babies do look better because I have a overlay. I have a mod. I know. Well, no, mods in CC will still work, but a lot of them are gonna be broken. Just like any other update, things are gonna break as always. But the CC creators will persevere, persevere, 
and they will fix their things that are broken, as always. See, she already has the fertile trait. <laughs> there is a fertile. So she has the fertile trait already. And if I go into build by, I already also have on the ley line for, you know, traits for the lot. I know it's okay. I'm sad. I just want her to have triplets, but she's just not having triplet juice. That's gross. That's a weird way to explain that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I fully expect that a lot of mods are going to break, especially with how big of a mod like update this is going to be. They're going to be like broken, broken. That's OK. They'll be updated probably within the first like couple of days for some of the mods. Other mods, it'll take a little bit longer. But not very long. You don't think you can speed run the next 70 babies, so you're going to try and make it to 50 and then switch matriarchs to do the other half of the info update. That'll be very cute. Very cute. Okay, I'm going to have... No, 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 no. You get your fertility massage. I almost had her teleport somewhere, and that is not what's happening right now. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to give our baby... We're gonna have our baby blow up their candles. Come here. I agree. I think the story potential is gonna be amazing. You ran out of space with your baby home. You're too stubborn to move, but starting fresh, you can. Very true. That would be very nice. I think that's a good idea. If I was around 50, that's what I would be doing. That's why I'm pushing so hard for the 100 because we're close. Like we're close enough that I can I can fathom it. And we could we would even be like closer with like cuz I have the wheel spin for the the subs that um she gets to progress in her pregnancy further and I've gotten that a few times and it is always the best freaking wheel spin around. <laughs> It's the best. Add birthday candles. Don't you dare blow out your candles or else I'll be so upset. Um, oh. We need to invite Jensen over. No, um, Jared. Oh, she is spoiled. She's studious and she's stoic. I'm going to give her the mental fortitude of a 40-year-old man. So she's, you know, mentally gifted. Uh, and we're going to invite over Jared Padalecki. In hopes that he can get our sim pergonente. Where is Jared? Is he here? Is he in the room with us? Um, let's see. Jared, there you are. Currently you have all the toddlers uh, locked in a room with all their skill stuff, but you wish that they had space to have outdoor stuff. Your house is like 20 by 30 and no possible space for infants. So that will, you'll wait until the new mama and have a 60 by 60. Oh my God, a 64 by 64. <gasps> you are a hero. Could never. Okay, she's actually really cute. So I'm going to just have her start doing her homework immediately. I'm sure she'll have outfits that need to be fixed, but that's fine. We'll worry about that when we get to it. I'm also going to immediately um, go to MCC and make sure that my sim can get pregnant. Mm, with MCC, woohoo. Woohoo pregnancy. Risky will put to 245. Make sure it works because sometimes it doesn't. And try for baby will do 70. I feel like Jared Padalecki would like having babies. I don't know why. Um... I'm worried that maybe my pregnancy thing, maybe I'm not getting maximum offspring. It's set to three. I'm going to set it to four in hopes that maybe she has more babies. Because it was set to three, but maybe it's like glitched or something. I don't know. She's already had a baby with an alien. We're having a baby with Jared Padalecki. That's Salted Cheese, one of our children. This is Jared Padalecki. Hello, sir. It's more fun when we have babies with, with celebrities. 
It's just more fun. It's just spicier. All right. Hello, Jared Padalecki and your very bad hat. <laughs> so he's smitten. Love that. Let's exchange numbers. Maybe he'll enjoy that. I think he would be taller as well. I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a really tall human. Um, let's compliment his appearance. She's just not drinking that flirty potion. <laughs> Amber, like I said, that's not how we name babies. Please, uh, ex um, please respect that that's the word i was trying to think of we make it a fair fair way for everyone to be able to name a child by doing the wheels or by doing the giveaway so that you guys can enter the giveaway to name the baby and that's how we do that because then it's a fair way for everyone to try and enter confess our attraction okay And first kiss. Still not drinking her drink. She's like, I'm flirty enough. It's fine. Do you think it would be easier to get babies with the science baby? I think yes, because your sim doesn't even get pregnant. They leave the, the lot and then come back with a baby uh, with a chance of twins, at least. I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know about triplets, but I know that your sim can have twins, which is nice. Uh, how long is the massage gonna last? Because I don't want to oh, get rid of that stupid thing. <laughs> Ten hours. There we go. Okie dokie. We're gonna just romance the schnook out of him in hopes that we uh, we can have a baby soon. We'll embrace him. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw woohoo in bush and I forgot that they can woohoo in bushes. They can woohoo in the t oh my god, they're gonna be able to woohoo in the treehouse soon. I'm so excited for woohoos and treehouses. Oh, I forgot about the treehouses. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready for this update. Or I guess that's what the pack. I'm so ready for the pack. Oh my god, I forgot we had babies. So oh, sorry. I just abandoned ship with them too. I was like, okay, bye. Things to do. People to see. Adios. Oh, you can help. Oh, you're I forgot I have that ability. Okay. You can help. Help out. Help your mama. Mama is busy at this moment. I feel like such a bad mom. Yes. Oh my God. And Sunny, you can age up. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Put that in there for one of your siblings. You can't wait to build. I haven't seen any of the build items. I know Nicole said that um, the, like the assets are on the website and I am like, I'm so keen to look at them, but also I don't want to ruin it for myself, but I'm just so excited. I just know they're going to be beautiful. All of them are going to be magnificent. She stole a book. How I Dumped Your Father. <laughs> Genre, Children's and Mystery by Genevieve Serene. Kids, this story <laughs> involves corgis, a slap bet, and, convincing Bella Goth and a convincing Bella Goth imposter. Buckle up. Stolen from Land Grab Elementary. <laughs> Oh my god, that's amazing! I've never seen that book. By the way, uh, I think you said Jensen's na last name right. I thought you were saying Jensen Ankles instead of... Oh, I may have said it one time. It's Jensen Ackles, right? Like Ackle, not Ankle. Ackle. Kind of like you're calling him a, a, a word. Ackle. <laughs> Ankles is good. He's Jensen Ankles. Oh, I'm sure he gets called that a million times and he's just like, stop it. Stop it. That's not my name. That's not my name. I'm not Jensen Ankles. 
All right, he is shy. I'm going to give him whatever that was, Chief of Mischief. He's a shy sim, and I'm like, Chief of Mischief seems legit. Seems right. Add birthday candles, please. <laughs> you were reading the book description yesterday, and all the parody ones killed you. I've never seen them. I think that's amazing. I have to go through the books one of these days. You love gents and ankles. I'm sure he loves you, too. <laughs> Oh, sir, you literally are trash. What are you doing? No, you're you're more of a love bug. You're not going to be there. That is very much Sunny. Very much Sunny's attitude. Make sure we get his his face in the good lighting. Got to get that good lighting. I love his eyes. Truly beautiful. There's an entire series that parodies Twilight, except the Jacob equivalent wins, so to speak, and the descriptions are gold. Oh my god, no. No way. That's amazing. That's so funny. Valencia. This is little Sunny. Sunny Valencia. You were crazy for Misha, really? I like that. That's nice. He's a, he's a very, very attractive man. So I can understand that. I can understand. I can understand. Okay, you're a B student. You did not, you're still, well, you're a B student, but you haven't got a, you went to school today. Never mind. I'm just a silly goose. Um, and you, darling, are helping out with the babies. Can you feed this baby and like help whatever is going on? Make a silly face, rocket, whatever, shush it. And she's going to go potty. Um, That was so quick, Jared. That was absolutely madness. Jared Padalecki wants to take things to the next level. Will Rose be his girlfriend? Yes, Jensen Ackles is from Supernatural. He, and same with Jared Padalecki. They're both from Supernatural and they've been other things. Jared uh, is also in The Boys um, on Amazon Prime. He's a very... I'll show you what he looks like. He's a very... He's a very good looking human. This is him. <laughs> He's a very attractive man. Uh, this is him and his... Uh, this is Jensen, and then this is Jared. You're a Dean, Stan. Which one was... Who, which one plays Dean? Is it... No. Sam. Sam, Dean. Me too. I'm a Dean fan. <laughs> I had to think about which one was Dean. I was like, um... Yes, Jensen. I was a Jensen fan. I wasn't a fan of Sam. I felt like he was too whiny in the show, but that might just be me. You would uh, change the auto-generated names of the book when building the right. Yeah. I always love doing that. Okay, sure. Jared, why not? She's pregnant with your baby, so why not? She's actually pregnant with your baby. He's like, this is crazy. What? Aliens don't really need sunglasses. Apocalypse, maybe? <laughs> why is this baby still crying? Oh, are you stinky? You're fine now. Okay, cool. Yay! Who aged up? Someone just aged up. I can hear it. I can hear someone aging. Oh, no, it was her pregnancy. It's because she's pregnant. She's Kaiser pregnant. Okay, she better be pregnant with triplets or else I'm going to be so mad. I've... 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 Wait, where is Jared? <laughs> we need to take a photo with him. Jared Padalecki. It's time for a selfie. So I'm gonna change his I um his outfit so he looks more like Jared. She can go to the doctor. Oh, she's gonna go to the doctor first. No, no, you can go to the doctor after. Um dresser, change outfit, your everyday outfit. And I felt like, honestly, Sam was not the best partner, like, in the very beginning. Again, I haven't seen the show for eons. What? Our massage therapist wants to become best friends. Sure. Why the heck not? Oh, and he changed his outfit back. He was like, just kidding. Um, The ultrasound tells her how many or what baby she's pregnant with. Only one of them, though. It'll say, like, you're having a boy or you're having a girl. But it won't tell me how many she's pregnant with. I can check with um, MCC. 
I can just check to see how many she's pregnant with if we want to. That's up to you guys, though, if you want me to check. That's a good one. I like that. That's really cute. He should have had sharp teeth because I feel like he's a little bit of a demon. <laughs> Apocalypse tomorrow in the game. I've seen Apocalypse tomorrow. I have seen that one. Okay, this is our last latest mm, hiccups baby thing. Um, that's the best game base name for not uh, Phantom. Oh, is it? There's also frequently any story. <laughs> oh my gosh, all these names. Um, I'm never gonna be able to name him. At least, okay, Jared, I know how to spell that. How do you spell Pedalaki? I need to Google it. Yeah, I would have never spelled that. <laughs> would have never spelled that correctly. There we go. Padlocky. Done. The bladder game. <laughs> oh my god. 30 sins are locked inside a giant mansion with no toilets. Who will come away clean? None. Fun fact, everyone will pee themselves. Teleport here. Um, View this, please. Which baby are you? This is, let's see. Step in. We'll grab this. Stefan Valencia. And then we'll grab his daddy's. Oh my God, what did I do? Wrong button. Uh, skin and ankles. Is it 78? No, you're 79 now. Technically. Because we've had some, some occult babies. I wish these were occult babies. It's silly that I forgot to do that. That's okay. And then that means that you are Stella. Your baby number 80, Stella. Technically, you're 79 and Stefan is 80, but whatever. Stella Valencia. Oh, thank you, darling. I like it because then I'll always have this. So I can remember each and every single one of them. As long as I have the custom content in my game, I'll have it. There we go. And then we'll have the hopefully if it's triplets, we'll have to move this. I could I could just make the basement like. Should I? Could I? That gets rid of the stairs, though, so maybe not. You'll never forget how Brett Hacking tried to claim his daughter in the same pool he died in. I forget that. What what happened? I remember Brett Hacking dying. Oh, yeah, and then his daughter died in the pool as well. I forgot about that. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I forgot completely about that. Yeah, he really said, uh, lol, you're coming with me. Oh no, the pool has done the pooly weird thing. Oh, you silly little pool. We were joking he wants full custody. Oh, I forget about that. That was fun. What has happened here? What is... Oh my god, um... Oh, that's a wee bit glitched. Birth certificates. Oh my god, that'd be so amazing. I don't know what the hell just happened. Maybe if we go downstairs. It's because I ended up deleting the freaking room. Or like I went... I'm like, oh, there we go. Okay, I fixed it. Yay, I fixed it. Yes, hopefully the babies will be able to function properly now. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I mean, there's always going to be little glitches and stuff. 
and things are always going to be a little funky dunky, but hopefully they'll work a lot better. Okay, I'm going to have you teleport upstairs. Um, I, I didn't make this pool. This is actually a CC pool by uh, Mr. Oakland. And if you download the pool CC for this pool, he also comes with tray files and then you just put the tray in. It's like 30 or it was like 40,000 simoleons, but there's like different tr like pools <laughs> that you can use. And he has like a tutorial on his YouTube about how to do it and stuff. It's called the Cool Pool CC Kit. Cool Pools CC Kit. But yeah, and it's I, I think it's really pretty. You got PC uh, CC once and your PC blew up for real. <laughs> your PC was like, no, that's too much for me. Thanks. I know custom content can be very, very, oh, I did that. Uh, very demanding on your, uh, a PC. It is very demanding. Okay. There you go. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very intense on the PC, but I do love CC. Get a diving board. I definitely might get one in a minute. Next time I'm in, I'm in build by. Don't want to go in and out, in and out, in and out. I've been in and out so many times already. <laughs> Most of my stuff is CC. I do know that there are in-game braids, but this is um, custom content braids. <laughs> I have a custom content addiction. I've got like 80 gigabytes. I'm trying to get it down to 70, um, but I've not gotten there yet. <laughs> I'm trying, well, my my goal is 60. My goal would be 60, and that would be amazing. But eventually we'll get there. Eventually. Okay, how you doing? How you doing, kiddo? I love the bunnies in the background just running around. They make my heart happy. What are you doing? Are you... Are you working? I think they're working. Okay. Oh, no, a monster is crying. This little potato is crying. Let's fix that. <laughs> An angry potato. And Jared, you probably can leave anytime unless you propose, which a lot of people end up doing. Let's talk about marriage. Let's freak him out. I mean, he did ask to be girlfriend and boyfriend right after one woo woo. So I feel like he might be down for this t conversation. But let's see if we can scare Jared Pedalecki away. I'm so excited too. It is, uh, the update is on oh, Tuesday and then the new pack is on Thursday. I am here for it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm just so excited. It's going to be amazing. Oh, not what I wanted to do. I actually want her to come and help out her children. Assist with project. Leave Jared alone. You can just, you know, he can do what he wants to do in the house. What are you doing? Why don't you go to sleep in the bed? And do you have a... No, you're good. You... um, No, you're not. No, you're good. You have a skill to level two. You're fine for right now. Yeah, Tuesday is the baby update. Tuesday it is. Oh. Is Mama just going to do it for her? Oh. <laughs> She's like, I'm exhausted. She's like, okay, I'll do it. Don't worry. Don't you worry, darling. Mama's got you. Does everyone have a level four skill? No, you don't. What skill were you working on? Mental. So you'll definitely be able to do that. Yay! No, it's on Tuesday. It's so much closer than you thought. Heck yeah. I'm glad that you're excited. I am very excited as well. It's going to be a good update. Okay, get leftovers. Steamed fish. Um, Why not? I don't like fish, but she might enjoy it. Level 2 logic. Good for her. Okay, and then this can um, go in your inventory, darling. We do need this update. This is something that I never thought we were going to get, and I'm so excited for it. Um, I believe there's actually a sim sale right now. When I launched EA today... It said that there was like some sort of discount, like a cool sale or something going on. It won't let me open the EA app, this, like the desktop app right now. But 
it did say that there was some sort of sale going on. They usually always have a sale around the same time as the packs. And thank for the <laughs> thank for follow. Thank you for the follow off brand, Jenna. Welcome to our family. If you have a name or a pronoun that you prefer to use, please let me know in the chat so I can address you properly. Um, if you feel comfortable with it. Um, but my name is Crystal and my pronouns are she, her. Welcome in. It's so nice to meet ya. Also, I'm very excited as well. Just so excited. Spring sale going on. Yes, there you go. I knew there was some sort of like spring or... Oh, that means... I forgot. This Sunday we spring forward. I'm going to lose an hour of sleep and I'm going to be very sad about it all week next week. Thanks for letting me know your name, Jenna, and your pronouns. Let me put those in for you. Jenna, she, and her. Happy Friday. I hope you're having a beautiful Friday. Yay, competing sales. Steam starts there soon, too. Do they? Oh, I don't know why I can't talk. This is very nice. Okay. And let's have you do your homework while you're up. And you are going to wake up and get yourself some food. Thank you, little peaches, for the follow. Welcome to our family. If you have a name or a pronoun that you prefer to use, please let me know in the chat. My name is Crystal, and my pronouns are she, her, as well. My, my pronouns are she, her. <laughs> uh, you're absolutely loving this decor. Thank you. That's so sweet. I really appreciate it. You did not need to find that there's a sale. I'm going to spend so much money. I'm sorry, Jana. I do like to help. <laughs> uh, maybe I should get... Oh, get, get famous in cats and dogs, even though I had it on PS4. They don't do crossover. I know that is so silly that they don't do crossover. I don't know why they don't. Like if you have an EA account and say you sign in on your PlayStation, you should be able to sign in like on the other. It just makes no sense. It's silly. I wish they, they had that. Because it would save so many people so much money. Like myself, if I ended up having to go to a console from here, I would be absolutely heartbroken. Aw, it's just Peachy or Peach, but you use she, her pronouns. Aw, it's so nice to meet you, Peachy. It reminds me, your username reminds me of Claire Siobhan because, you know, Peachy. And then I feel sad because I miss her. <laughs> All right, let me put those in for you. Thank you for letting me know. I appreciate you. And Kaylee, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome in, darling. If you have a name or a pronoun that you prefer to use, please let me know. My name is Crystal and my pronouns are she, her. Welcome in. I hope you're having a beautiful day. This house makes me really happy. I really enjoy how this house came out. It was a labor of love. It really, really was. Okay, this is fine. Let's clean that up. Let's clean this up. Go to bed. And then Mama's going to go to bed so that she can hopefully have the baby faster. Because, the you know, sooner she sleeps, the sooner we have new babies. And when do these monsters age up? tomorrow oh they don't wage up wage up age up until wednesday oh gross it's gonna be forever then that's okay kaylee and she her pronouns it's so nice to meet you kaylee welcome in happy friday i hope you're having a beautiful friday Oop, there we go um i do i have a link uh or i have a discord there or no a tumblr where i reblog my cc <laughs> oh, we haven't checked yet. We have not checked yet. <clears throat> Let's check. If you don't want to see, close your eyes. Don't want to see, close your eyes. But I'm going to check with MCC to see what she's pregnant with. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's fine. Multiple, but it's not the amount that I was hoping. I was hoping for three. You should play The Sims. You should play it. You should definitely play. Who died? Greyhawk? How did Greyhawk die? That's a little... That's a little weird. I didn't think Greyhawk was old enough to die. Of, like, old age. I guess we'll see. We'll go to the family tree. And see. I really don't think any of her children are old enough to die of old age. But... Maybe I'm wrong. Because Wimbley died. Oh, I guess Wimbley died of old age. Greyhawk died from anger. Greyhawk, why are you getting so angry? 
I know I hate when the babies get phone calls. It's so annoying. Um, I'm gonna see why he got so angry. Let's check the neighborhood actions. Um, okay, a baby was adopted. Good for them. The baby daddy's household moved. That sucks. The Smith household adopted a dog. Uh, I don't know what that was, but it wasn't my son. Lilith Valator is now the space manager in an interior decorator career. Good for Lilith. Someone adopted a dog. Adeline and Arvin had a baby. What about my son? The one who just died. We need to get the mod that makes this easier. A child was adopted. Good for them. My son just died. I don't need to know about other children. The, cl the climate household moved out. Cool. Good for them. Mercedes Valencia in the Fletcher household left her job as a starter in the professional athlete. Okay, good for her. That, I mean, same last name. So Greyhog, Greyhog, Greyhog Valencia in the household has died. There's no household name. Greyhawk got a little too angry and exploded. I mean, him and his sister both exploded. So that makes sense. Not at all. Oh, you got enough an hour um, ago from being on for six hours. Okay, well, that's fair. Maybe you should rest. <laughs> oh, who's up and about? Why are you awake? Go to go pee. Take a panic poop. Yeah, he apparently exploded. And my infants are getting phone calls, but I cannot help. I cannot help them. I would love it if my, my toddlers and infants and, you know, newborns don't get random cell phone phone calls. Because that makes sense. I love when my toddler gets a cell phone call when they don't even have a cell phone. Yeah. Take care of your sibling. Go, go. You're terrified. I know. It's, you know, thundering out. Ter terribly scary. <laughs> Oh, are you going to go do homework in there? Okay. Meet new sibling. Meet new sibling. You're fine with your siblings. It's fine. This is cozy. I love this room. Legs go stretch. I know. I love that mod, though, because it makes me happy that they can help out with the siblings. But they do be stretchy. I'm going to have her go to sleep after. Oh, mama's going to wake up. Uh, that's just MCC. With MCC, you can make it that the like children are able to help out. These cribs are by My Cup of CC. It was their, um, they had like a cribs pack that they came out with and it's really beautiful. Neighborhood stories are hilarious. Names died because their house sold their bowl of cereal caught on fire. Yeah, I love those deaths. <laughs> They're always very entertaining. Why are you still, okay, because you're doing, you're doing your homework, okay. Um, you're gonna wake up and use the toilet. Actually, you're gonna take a shower, sorry. And then do your homework. And you are going to wake up and get some leftover. Why not chili? I feel like that's a nice hearty breakfast. Why not? I don't know what she's making, but we're having chili. She's probably making a single serving of something, too, because that that makes sense. Oh, no, don't cook something. She's already cooking. My bad. Hi, Leah. How are you doing, my love? Welcome, man. How you doing? How has your Friday been? And thank you for lurking. I love you. <laughs> we're just, you know, rocking the 100 baby challenge today. At least we're trying. You know, rocking is an operative amount of you know, time. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But we're really trying. Finished stream. Streaming Sunhaven just now. The 1.0 released happened today. Did it? Oh my god, that's amazing. How was it? I hope you had a beautiful stream, my love. Thank you for being here. I hope it was absolutely wonderful. It's almost Stella and Stefan's birthday. Oh, are there a whole bunch of changes in the update? Did she literally just make one for herself? Oh, that's so funny. Wow. She really said I'm hungry. Okay, can you come and take care of your sibling? Because I don't want to. There you go. 
That's your dealio. You need some and some fun. So watch some TV, please. That's fun. Good for you. And Mama, you're in your first trimester. Yeah, she'll be in her second trimester in ten hours. It's taking forever. Forever. <laughs> <clears throat> I will say the good thing about having twins consecutively, like I always feel like she's having twins. It's good because it's easy ma to maintain. And I feel like I have a really good rhythm of making sure that the kids get aged up really fast. So I guess there's that benefit, but it is a little annoying. Oh, you did not get a skill. Okay. Um, should she skip school? Yes. Just for a second, just for a Dane freaking second. Wait a minute. Just do this. Thank you. Literally for two seconds so you can get that skill. And then you can go to school. Just in case. There you go. Go to school. Thank you. You're an hour late for school. That's fine. <laughs> Ooh, terrifying. Okay, she's going to study hard. And Mama is... No, Mama's mommying. So I'm going to have her work out a little bit. Get her health on. Oh, God. Seriously, Jared? Sure. We'll be besties. She's just achieved the super best friends achievement. I don't even know what that's for. It's got to be, like, popularity, maybe. Um, I don't even know. Maybe friend of the world? No. I don't, I don't know. It was one of them. I'll just have stereo romantic for her for right now. <laughs> She's not finished an aspiration, but that's okay. We're not actually focusing on that. Ooh, we can get the mail. Going through 800 best friends. Yeah, it seems like she kind of is because it and everyone wants to be her bestie. I mean, who wouldn't want to be her bestie? She is a freaking queen. Like he's literally just watching her work out. That's how obsessive people are over her. She's just that beautiful. Um, Evie is sitting next to the new kid at lunch when she spies something pink. Uh, let's just pick it up and pretend it's ours. Evie places her shoe over it. Basically, it's a bib. And she's like, haha, just kidding. It's, it's not mine. Mine. Leave the new kid alone. Super efficient baby care. And feed this baby. Oh, who has died now? For gosh sake. Tanashi Ito. I don't even know who that is. Oop. Apparently someone that we're related to in some way, shape, or form. I don't know how, though. And I'm not even going to look into it. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Wowzers. <laughs> My god. Oh, you stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop that nonsense. You messy, noisy little child. Oh my god, you're so good. Please finish this so I can sell it. Thank you. Ooh, more mail. <laughs> more gifts. More gifts for my sim. The mail, darling. Even though it's scary and lightning out, but that's fine. Don't need to worry about being struck by lightning. It's fine. There we go. Let's sell all these goodies. Oop. We love money in this household. We do, we do. I'm going to turn the vacuum on. Not that she actually needs to vacuum because it's clean right now, but I wish this worked with if you had bust the dust in like unlocked. I wonder if someone's fixed that. So if you had bust the dust um, like activated in your game, which I do have it, but I don't use it because it's annoying. Um, I wonder if that would, like, clean the dust. If anyone plays with bust the dust, let's let me know. Honey, go into your little house, you little googie. It's not safe. Oh my god, you're worrying me. What if you get struck by lightning? What if you die? Go claim that. Please and thank you. There you go. 
the Roomba, yeah. If you have Bust the Dust enabled, if you use the Roomba, will it, like, get the dust? I'm curious, because we didn't get anything like that in Bust the Dust, but we have it. It, it does? <gasps> does it actually? Oh, that's amazing! Because I never have Bust the Dust enabled because it's so freaking annoying to vacuum every five seconds. So I just have it disabled. I have it in my game, but I just disabled it. It's very annoying. You've noticed a major issue with the babies. They cry like crazy for like an insane amount of time before the dirty diaper thing pops up. It's like, I know the diaper is dirty. Now let me change it. I know it gets really aggravating when they just start crying all the time and there's nothing you can do about it. You're just waiting for the shoe to drop. What's going to happen? Are we going to age up? Yes. Oh my God. Come here. It can be aged up. Wait, can they? I may, I may be wrong. Yes, Kamir is an A. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Bubba. Kamir, you are amazing. Come here and blow out your candles. And what about your sisters? You are a B student. You're almost an A. So let's do your homework. And then you probably can age up tomorrow. And you were a B student, but you were C. So we're doing good. And we'll work on your... Hmm, is it still raining? Yeah, it's still raining. I'm going to say they can work on their mental skill, but they they also have social really high. So let's go and practice our speech. Oh, I'm so happy. Wait, who's aging up? Oh, you're also an A. Wait. Oh, God. Am I? Okay. Uh, no, Kamira is not an A. Sorry. It's Arielli. I had them all merged as one, so I was confused. Oh, using your not so berry, you just have to have one on each level. That's so cool. I did not know that. Oh, wait, God. Am I? No, this is the right child. Oh, like, am I aging up the wrong child? No, no. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. And then add birthday candles again. I did not know that they worked. I'm so happy now. All right. So she is a frat boy. Okay. Cool, cool. Love that for him. They do scare pets, uh, scare or attract pets, though. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty normal. Pets be getting their weird little, um, little things that they get excited about. All right, let's hop into Cass. And we'll save, obviously. <laughs> Don't want to lose my gameplay. And then we'll hop into Cass for the last night or last time tonight. We'll give her a really quick little makeover. And we'll give her sibling just a... Well, I don't honestly think she needs a, a makeover. She's really cute right now, as is. And then we'll we'll do a little riddle raid for the night. We'll see who's streaming, first off. And we'll we'll give her a little jiggy jiggle rig. And we'll be back on Wednesday... Sunday. Wow. No, we'll be back on Sunday. I'm very excited. I just... Sunday, yeah, it's gonna be great. All the babies, all the babies. I'm hoping on Sunday we can have, hopefully we hit like 96. I won't stop streaming until we hit like 96 or so, I think. <laughs> because we, we need to get it over and done with, and who knows, maybe I'll start streaming earlier. Or I'll put it in the Discord if I end up streaming at a different time. Because I just want to, I want to finish this challenge so bad. I guess we'll see. We'll see how desperate I get. Because, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what kind of hairstyle I want her to have. She seems like she would have like something fun. I don't know why, but I get that Arielli likes. Maybe because she's got the frat boy. Maybe she's a bit of a tomboy. Kind of. I kind of vibe with that. Ooh, that's cool. And then we could like split diet. I don't know where the split diet is. I'll have to find it. But we could split diet and that would look really cool. Content, custom content. Let's see if we can find that split die. Hmm. I wish it told you. <laughs> wish it was like you can find this in. There's three places it could be. Either here, which it is not, or, or maybe it is. 
not going far enough. Nope. Okay. And then it could be in the accessories. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I'm going to go with this side though. Oh, this is the, wait, this is, okay, I see. Oh, cool. We can do so many fun hair colors. What if we did something like, ooh, I like this color. It's like, oh, that's kind of almost gray, but it's like periwinkle, it's pretty. Talking about not so berry, oh, amazing. All right, she's so pretty. She aged up so freaking stinking pretty. Oh my goodness. She is breathtaking. Look at her. Who does, okay, is her dad um, Brendan Fraser as well? Her and Evie, right? Or is it Kamir and Evie? No, I don't think her dad is Brendan Fraser. I forget who her dad is. But she's breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. Oh, I love her. Let's go with, maybe we'll give her some like space. My child is pretty. I wasn't, I wasn't like thinking that she wouldn't be, but like, look how cool she is. Honestly, her outfit's not that bad. I'm actually going to leave it. I think it's really neat. Um, this is where it gets a little interesting. So we'll just select random things. Oh, there you go. There you go. Um, this is not bad. Good for you. Your sleepwear is not atrocious. I can I can actually handle it. Nope, can't handle that. Nope, nope, nope. There you go. So that's showing your nipplage. So we'll just swap out of that. Mm, there you go. And last but not least, your winter outfit, actually pretty good. And um, we'll just hop over to Kamir and just make sure that all of Kamir's outfits are fine. I think she's good. She aged up pretty, pretty dang cute. So. Okay, that one's fine. There we go. Little, little broken mod. Don't know what it is, but it's broken. Isn't Kazmir super cute? Or Kamir, sorry. They're adorable. We haven't changed them at all. Like. We didn't have to give them any makeover when they aged up to a child. They just naturally were vain, stinking, adorable. There you go, come here. It looks absolutely amazing. Little Ariely is adorable. They're all looking super good. I love them. That was absolutely wonderful. He's okay. Thanks for asking. But this was a very fun stream and I really appreciated you guys being here. I really did. I thought it was very fun. So thank you. <laughs> I will see you guys on Sunday at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'm very excited. Uh, let's see who we want to raid tonight. I'm not sure who's streaming. Hmm. Let's see. Should we raid? Not a lot of people are streaming right now, actually. Oof. Is there any recommendations? Do we have any recommendations for the raid tonight? Because holy Batman, there's not a lot of people streaming in my in my in my following. I just don't know who to raid. 
Hey Lauren, is Hey Lauren rating or streaming rating? Are they rating? No, they're they're streaming. Okay, they are. There they are. I do see them now. All right, let's raid them. Um, all right, I will see you guys on Sunday, and um, I'm just really excited to hang out with you guys and finish off the baby challenge. It'd be really nice if we could finish it off. It'd be really nice. We may even start the stream a little bit earlier. We potentially might start at like two um we'll see i'll put it in the discord if i'm gonna start early um just to try and get this over it'd be nice if we could finish it on sunday before you know the last of us and uh i cry so <laughs> i love you guys so very much please take care of yourselves and drink your water and eat your food and do all those very important things because it is important to treat yourself with respect and with all the like you know the goodness and I will see you guys on Sunday. I'm so excited. And if you are joining us in this raid, please make sure that you are over 18. Um, hey, Lauren is for mature audiences only. And we want to make sure that we are always respecting other streamers because it's important that we follow the rules in every single streaming that you're in. Because you know what? R rules make the world go round. I love you. All right. Have a good night. <laughs> see you on Sunday. I'm so excited. Okay, bye. for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in, welcome in.